We have the boys at the 73,000 meter final on track. You see over there in the front, we have Words Pro. 
Putting through and following that as well as going help McCarr. It's a long race, it's a lengthy race. It's all about the strategy, it's all about timing. You see a couple of Mendo Park guys at the back there, sitting in the fourth, fifth and sixth position. But the gap is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, so let's see, let's see if, we can, if these boys are going to close the gap. And it's going to be a, a race to the finish. It's going to be an interesting one. We have a massive crowd over here, supporting the guys, supporting our school, help my car. We're at the Newton Classic Shootout, powered by Prid. And hosted by World School, help my car at the UJ Stadium. It's going to be a good event. A lot of great results coming up, a lot of records coming up. Later on at, for the Newton Classic Shootout program, we have the 150 meters women and men coming up, as well as the 600 meter women and men coming up and we can see elite athletes running their world champions um, olympic athletes african champion medalists we got the best of the best lining up at the newton classic shootout power at Frit this afternoon and the program starts at four o'clock with the 150 meters for women and men and then six o'clock with the 600 meters for women and men it's going to be a good one back on the track now we see the boys under 17 3000 meter final going down the guy is running very strong in front of it there. He's keeping his form. He's got a tactic. He's got a plan. And his plan is to win this victoriously. I'm sure he's going to take it. My co-host for this afternoon, my co-commentator, is Temba Matema. And he's a specialist when it comes to these distance events. 800 meter man himself. Temba, oh, how wow. are you doing? Specialist. Uh, that's uh, very... Holding me at too high of an esteem. But good afternoon and welcome to everybody. Uh, this is the Help Makar Khoa Liga. Help Makar College uh, bringing this amazing competition year after year at UJ Stadium. And later on, we've got the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. That's going to be starting the first race is at 4 o'clock. Uh, so make sure to tune in all the way from, um, what is it, 3.30? We, when we do the introductions to the athletes and everything. So we're going to have a great time. We're going to have an amazing, 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 amazing day of athletics. And back to the track, you can see the athletes there from uh, foot and two. Uh, always very strong, help my car, athletes, Menlo, the work school Menlo, always uh, also featuring in this competition, but you can see the young men in the front at the moment uh, from a foot and two uh, running in the front, uh, looking very comfortable. Uh, he's going to be just uh, keeping the pace uh, nice and steady uh, the way he is and has been doing it so far. So it's going to be a good day of athletics. I'm excited. The rain started and then it stopped. Uh, so now we're back to... Uh, the athletics, we started the program on time, which is uh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. and a great day of athletics ahead. I think it's going to be an amazing day. The rain just came to cool everyone down over here because we're going to be bringing the heat. It's going to be fires on the track over there. You can see the youngster, boys under 17 from 4 and 2. Easy in the front over there, you know, just running his race. It's like a training session for him. He's opening the gap wider and wider and wider against his competitors. He's got it about 120, if not 150 meter gap. And he is just running so smoothly. So amazing to see the upcoming talent in South Africa, especially from these schools. So thank you to World School Help Makar for hosting this event and for having the Newton Classic Shootout. Um, elite athletes come and run at your event. It's going to be great. Like I said, we have Olympians coming through. We have world champion athletes coming through, African medalists coming through. But we won't spoil the surprise yet. Our first announcement of the athletes will be at 20 to 4 for the 150 meters women and men. So you guys better stay tuned, interact with us, tell us who you're supporting, tell us which school you're supporting at the Help Makar Gawalika event, and let us have a fun day filled of athletics.
at UJ Stadium in Auckland Park, and it is the Help Makar Gewelige competition that's happening right now, where they have different high schools competing against each other. But later on is when we have amazing action from elite athletes. We have Olympic athletes. We have all Africa champs athletes. We have African champs athletes. We have world championships athletes. That's going to be going head to head against each other in the 150 and 600 meters. So stay tuned. The 150 meters for women comes up at 12 minutes past four and the men at 17 minutes past four. And then we have the 600 meters coming up later at 6 p.m. this evening for men and women. It's going to be one for the books. One for the books, guys. We had a bit of rain, you know, coming to disrupt um, the races over here, but that's all gone now. Now it's all about the speed on the track at the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. It's going to be a good one. I hope you guys stay tuned. And tell us, who you're supporting? Tell us in the comments who you're backing. You know, who's your favorite on the 150 meters? Who's your favorite on the 600 meters? And enjoy some school athletics as well. It's so good to see these kids coming through and showcasing their talents. It's amazing to see what the future of South Africa is in track and field. It's definitely a bright future. And I'm looking forward to the Olympics coming up in 2024 and 2028. I think we have a lot of middle prospects in South Africa. And we're going to showcase our talent and we're going to claim track and field power from the rest of the world, I believe. It's going to be a good one, guys. Interact with us. Myself and Tim Madiba will be commentating for you guys this evening and taking you through the action at the UJ Stadium in Auckland Park at the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. Before then, now until 4 o'clock, we have Wurskwell Helpmakar, who is hosting the Gawalicha event. We have different high schools competing against each other. It's very interesting to see the youngsters. We now have the girls under 16, 400 meter hurdles lining up, getting ready to take the one lap hurdles around the track. Tough event. The one lap is never easy, always a lot of lactic. And now you still have barriers in between <laughs> you and the finish line. So it's a, it's a very, very tough event, but these girls are gonna show us how to do it. We also have simultaneously running the men's boys long jump over there on track. We see the guys lining up for their run up, ready to take it over there. It's going to be a very interesting event today. The Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt, hosted by Help Magar. We're watching the Chowalicha right now, where various high schools are competing against each other. We have our eyes on the boys long jump. Guy's getting ready for his takeoff and he's on the runway. A lot of speed down the run over the let's see him hitting the plank triple jump and into the pit looks like a good jump over there beautiful atmosphere today at the uj stadium we have everybody coming down in the numbers it's so amazing to see the support again for sports you know after a hard two years of COVID and and no social interaction it's so good to see people interacting again People coming out to support in their numbers, people enjoying sport, people enjoying track and field. That's what it's about. It's about the fun. It's about the interaction. It's about the engagement. It's also about developing the youngsters and getting them ready for their future in track and field. We're back at the triple jump. Watching World School Clofis over there. He's getting ready for his run up and as he takes off, let's see him hit the plank. Oh, bit of a run over over there. No jump. He's going to have to try again. Simultaneously next to him, also words called Cloughies. Nice jump into the plank over there, and that is a legal jump. Getting that measured. We have the likes of words called Fuerentu, the likes of words called Menlo Park. We have the likes of words called Help Makar, words called Cloughies, all competing against each other today. See over there the guy from World School before into lining up at the long jump. It's about to take his run up. Off he goes. Let's see if he makes a legal jump into the pit. Oh, just a run over from him over there. He's going to have to try again. And on the track, we have the girls 16 400 meters heat one. Beautiful, clean start over there. They're at the first barrier. Getting up at the barrier on the 300 meters on the back straight over, over there. It looks like World School Clough is in the lead. 
in lane six. She's on the back straight. She has caught the lady in lane seven. She's running smoothly. She's coming to the last 200 meters. Water school Clawfish running a great race over there. It is the one lap. It is always hard. There's always lactic acid. But she's approaching the last 150 meters, taking it in a stride. But we have the lady in lane seven from Wersko, Help Makar. She's just holding on as they come to the last 150. But also on the inside, we have Menlo Park over there. She's taking the lead now, it seems like, as they go into the last 120. It's going to be a tight one. Wersko Menlo Park is in the lead. Last 80 meters. She's running well. Oh, we had a little athlete fall there at the back, but she's up perseverance and it's worth school Menlo Park over the last barrier taking it over the finish line beautiful race run there winning by worth school Menlo Park in a time of 108 81 split seconds that's the girls under 16 400 meters hurdles I have my co-commentators sitting alongside me Timba Madima and we're gonna be taking you through the Newton classic shootout powered by Prit it's gonna be a good one Timba yeah, absolutely going to be an amazing one. Uh, we're going to be uh, going live in a bit. And I mean, what, what not to be excited about? This is the Newton Classic Shooter powered by Pred. We're here at the Hoa uh, Liga. Uh, this is hosted by Help Makar College. And it's a beautiful day of athletics. We've got the 150 meter, which is coming up. Uh, that is going to be at four, uh, 12 minutes past 4 o'clock. And then we've got the 600 meters, which will be starting at uh, 5 minutes past uh, six so amazing uh, races coming up both men and women's races it's gonna be a scorcher of a race Alyssa I mean we saw what happened in the initial one Clarence Munyai winning the 300 meter for men mm -hmm. Zene van der Waal winning the 300 meter for, for women and now we also have the athletes here at the school competing they're getting ready for the 400 meter hurdles you can see the girls are uh, in there ready and waiting in on the line already. Uh, they're going to be getting started soon. So a beautiful day of athletics in store for us. Beautiful day, beautiful weather. We have the high school setting the tone here at the UJ Athletic Stadium. And we have the girls under 16, 400 meter heat too. 400 meter hurdles that is, and they're in their blocks right now. A lot of focus at this point of the race. Planning the race in their minds. Everybody wants the win. And it's off, and they have a very clean start over there, and the girls are looking strong around the first bend, approaching the first hurdle. Clean over the hurdle over there. It looks like Wurzkoel Kloff is in the lead over there on the outside. Beautiful running style, beautiful technique over the hurdle, running smoothly as she approaches the last 250 meters of this 400-meter lap. Amazing running style. She's opening a nice gap against the competitors. Beautiful running style. She's approaching the last 200 meters. She's just under 16, and she is in control of this race. A little bit of lactic there as she hits the last 200 meters, but still in the lead, still in charge of this race, still in control. It's all about the plan. It's all about the execution when it comes to hurdles. It's all about the rhythm of how you're running, and she's approaching the last 120 meters there. This is when you feel that fatigue, that lactic, but you have to just use your mental power to get you through the race. We see her there in the back straight, cleaning out this race. Beautiful gap. She's running smoothly, and as she goes over the last hurdle, taking it home over the line there, she's just hit one minute, definitely faster than the first heat, and she crosses the line in one minute, five seconds, and 85 split seconds. Beautiful, beautiful race over there from the young girl from Word School Clofis. Like Timber mentioned earlier, it's going to be a great event this evening at the UJ Stadium. We're at the Newton Classic Shootout Bar by Pritt. And we're watching at the moment the Word School Help Makar College who is hosting the Gawalicha over here. And we're watching amazing talent over here, Temba. I think it's, you know, it's so good to see how these young athletes are being groomed and developed for their future. Absolutely. I mean, development is probably one of the most important things we need to do as South Africans. And there is no better place for athletics than school athletics. School athletics is at the top of all the competitions, the way meetings are hosted, the way it's professionally done. Mm. I mean, you, these are school teachers and, you know, it's, it's, and it's uh, you know, officials, everybody getting involved from the school to make sure these events are special. So let's see what happens in this 400 meter race. Who's going to be taking it? Water Clough is in there. We've also got, um, uh, we've also got the likes of, uh, Help Makar. Help Makar in there, sorry. Word School Clough is Word School. Menlo Park is not in this one, but okay, and there we go. Fontaine, also Hars Fontaine. Oh, mm -hmm. but it looks like they're going to be called back. Uh, looks like it's a bit of a technical technical issue there. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think it is a false start, but if that is the case, somebody will have to take a cold shower very early. <laughs> we see the official going over to the starter, but it seems like it's a, a technical issue. We don't see any red flags yet, which is always a good sign. There's always nerves at this point in time where you're wondering, is it me? Am I okay? Am I safe? Have I made a mistake? Have I lost this race? Officials just speaking to the starter over there. Seems like it's going to be a good one. Seems like we we have no problem. Seems like it was just a technical issue over there, Temba. I think we're good. Ready to restart. It seems like the lady in lane two was just at the wrong position. She nearly ran a, a 392 <laughs> meters instead of a 400 meter. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a nice PB to have in the books. Yeah. Um, but once again, we are going to get uh, started with the 400 meter hurdles uh, for the girls. The 400 meter in South Africa has always been a special event over the past years. If you look at the juniors such as Zane mm. van der Waal, who has gone on to be world youth champion, you can see the athletes from Pritt for the Newton Classic shootout. They're getting ready there in their Pritt red colors. Uh, they're getting ready for their races, putting on their race numbers. It's almost a go time, and this is going to be a fantastic one. As you can see in my picture, there's Banele Shabangu uh, in her colors there, and also some more athletes, likes of Dukuali. He was uh, briefly in the shot there. There is Boipelo Chemese, the dangerous, the potent, the explosive Boipelo Chemese. Uh, she's in this one as well. The ladies are focused. We know Boipelo Chemese won the 60 meters last week in a time of 7.34 seconds. Let's see what she's going to do on the 150 meters. She says she prefers the longer events, so we can't wait to see what she has in store for us today on this 150. She promised a PB earlier in the week on our back chat no sweat podcast so we will see what she has in store she looks focused she looks ready she looks fired up way pillow to messy the one the only coach by very very good coach so we can't wait to see what these ladies have in store for us a little later there we have rivaldo roberts in our picture he's also going to be taking on the 150 meters for men it's going to be a scorcher race we're at the newton classic shootout guys powered by prit we have the 150 meters coming up at 4 p.m this afternoon and later on the 600 meters coming up for men and women we have athletes from all over the country all over the continent all over the world coming and competing against each other and I'm excited. I'm very excited to see what these guys are going to put on the track for us. What they're going to put on the clock for us. It's always an awesome platform to see what you know they have in their pockets leading up for the rest of the season and what they're going to deliver. By athletes for athletes. That is the motto at this event. We see the Cameroonian over there taking selfies, you know, he's out here, he's ready. Taking selfies of himself, getting ready for his race. Maybe that's his warm-up ta tactic, coming here to display his Cameroonian speed on the track. Over there we see also in picture again, Vanilla Shabango, the 150 meter ladies are getting ready. They ha are they? Yo, they fired up. They said that the weather is perfect today. They said that the times are going to be fast in the track, Timber. I think it's going to be a good one. Absolutely going to be a good one. As you can see in picture there in pink, uh, we've got Ekar Potheter as well, Banele Shabangu. We also have Nosipo Malinga, who was in shot earlier mm -hmm. uh, during. Nosipo Malinga in shot over there, warming up and getting ready for the 150 meter. Banele Shabangu looking like such a strong athlete. She looks in peak performance, peak shape. She's ready for this event. see Rivaldo Roberts again doing his mobility for his warm-up before he takes on his race. We are just 25 minutes away from an amazing, amazing 150-meter classic shootout at the UJ Stadium, powered by Pritt. 
We're going to be announcing all these elite athletes in approximately five minutes. See the Cameroonian there as well. And then we're back on track. We're on the 400 meters again for women. Beautiful start by Menlo Park over there. She's racing over that second hurdle barrier in the back straight, approaching the third hurdle. Beautiful running style. Great leg frequency before the hurdles. Beautiful clearance of the hurdles as she approaches the last 200 meters in her race. She's opening the gap further and further. We see the girl from Menlo Park over there. We have four and two as well in this race. As she comes around the bend, last 150 meters. She is so comfortable in her stride. She is just dominating this 400 meter hurdles for, for girls. We're going into the last home straight over there. Just three more barriers for her to clear. She clears it smoothly, cleaning on knocking one of these hurdles down. It's so exciting to see the future of hurdlists for the female track and field. There we go, last barrier for her over there, taking it home. At least a 50 meter gap between her and second place. So the girl from Word School Menlo Park taking the victory in the girls' 400 meter hurdles in a time of 42.74 seconds. Beautiful, beautiful race, beautiful time. I hope that time is correct, it's, that's pretty fast. <laughs> Absolutely amazing atmosphere today at the UJ Stadium. Water School Help McCart College is hosting the Gowalicha event over here where we have different schools racing against each other. Now we're getting for the ready for the ladies 150 meter introduction. As we can see, Pritt, the Pritt mascot is ready over there. He is excited, he's ready for the action on the track. Bit of a thumbs up. We love it, we love the energy. We love the excitement from the ladies. They're just all posing, taking a picture now. So beautiful to see. We have five ladies that will be competing in this 150 meter race at the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. But before we do the introduction, we're back on track for the second heat of the girls 400 meters under 17 hurdles. And we've got the 150 meter women's lineup coming up next. We've got such a fantastic one that's going to be coming up. But first, we've got the 400 meter hurdles, which is currently uh, taking place. And after that, immediately, we're going to get to the Newton Classic Shootout, powered by Pritt. The 150 meter women's race is going to get us started. And then from there on, we'll move on to the other races. The 150 meter for men, 600 meter for women, 600 meter for men. It's going to be super exciting, exhilarating races. So look out for this one. We're going to give you the lane draws soon. But first, let's get the 400 meter athletes who are competing at the Help Makar College. Gowelige. This is one of the big competitions in South Africa. Top schools. World School Menlo is in here. Help Makar. We've got the likes of Waterkloof. It's a big competition. Gasfontein. they get settled clean start immediately out of there you can see from the outside is water club pushing out the pace immediately but the athlete from we're getting ready to introduce the ladies 150 meters newton classic shootout powered by Pritt in the picture there we see the ladies are looking fresh they're looking good they're ready for this they're ready to take on each other it's going to be a crack over the an event we see the Pritt mascot standing there as well ready to showcase, you know, the talent of these beautiful ladies on track. It's gonna be a good, 
won. Absolutely, it's going to be a scotch of a race. As you can see there, on the left, he's got Banele Shabangu. Banele Shabangu, only 19 years old, a youngster. She's the Twizzer School Super Series champion. She's got a beautiful 100 meter PB of 11.68 and a 200 meter PB of 23.90 seconds. She's ready to come and take on this 150 meters at the Newton Classic shootout. We can't wait to see what the youngster has to do. And then we have in lane three, Marazan Luat. She was also at the 60 meters for the Newton Classic shootout last week, where she came second. Beautiful race from Marazan Luat. She also is fifth in the SA Championships under 20, 20, 2021 season. That is Marazan Luat over there waving to the crowd. She is ready for this race. And next to her, we have the sprint queen from last week in the 60 meters, Boy Pelo Chimese. She ran a blistering 60 meters in a time of 7.34 seconds, and she is ready for the 150 today. And next to her, we have Shirley Ngumbunyu, also 21 years old, AGM superstar in the rising. Beautiful, beautiful athlete over there. She's ready for this. And last but not least, we have Nosipo Malinga. She's in the last lane over there, and she is only 18 years old, a sprint specialist as well, and she's ready to take on this 150 meters against these seniors. I cannot wait to see what these girls are going to do. It's going to be such an amazing it is race. A I can't even lineup. wait. Woo! You can get us going already. I mean, Banele Bashabangu, you said 18, very young athlete, passionate about the game. She works so hard as mm -hmm. well. Then you've got the likes of Boy Pelo Chimese. She's going to be the one to look out for. She's going to be the one to watch absolutely in this one. Marzan Lewis, let's not forget about her. She put on such an amazing display in the 60 meter. Maybe with the 150, she's got more distance and more time to catch up to the likes of Chemesa. So let's see how this race is going to pan out. This is the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. We are at Hur School Help Makar, Help Mak Hur School Help Makar, hosting the meeting here at UJ. And what a fantastic meeting is going to be help makar college that is yes it's going to be absolutely amazing we're only about 20 25 minutes away from that 150 meters but we're back with the action on track boys under 16 400 meter hurdles the first heat has just gone off the boys are looking strong we have the young man from Fuerentu leading it over there with his own beautiful technique over that hurdle can only imagine what he can do when they fix that technique or give a little bit of work to that technique but his speed is opening a gap of at least 30 meters now as he approaches the last 200 meters 200 meters to go and we have the guy from Wurzko Furintu in the lead he's approaching the last 150 meters we have guys from Wurzko Help Makar and Wurzko Klof he's trying to catch him but the guy from Furintu is absolutely hammering this race from the start he is ready for it as he comes into the home straight over there last three barriers over there timber this guy is running blistering fast he took it from the start he's got a unique special technique over the hurdles but his speed is definitely carrying him through and you can see that passion and eagerness to win amazing race from the young man uh in running in the colors of four and two finishing in first place in second place we've got to help makar in third we've got the athlete from father Kluf. and in fourth place who is called Ronberg. Next up, we've got the men's race, which is coming up. Fantastic lineup in this one as well. It's a packed field, and we can't wait to get you underway. You can see the Pritt mascot over there. He's like looking happy. He's excited. The kids love him. They love seeing him in this competition as well. And uh, let's see what type of vibe he will be bringing. He looks like he's ready to run, Alyssa. Will you see the Pritt ma uh, mascot running as well? I think he'll be pacing the guys over here on the 150, you know, trying to push them over the finish line. It's going to be a good one. He's always so energetic, full of energy. So I think he's setting, he's setting a good tone for the guys in the 150. All right. Once this race is done, we're going to get you into the introduction of the men's 150 meter for the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. Thanks so much to Help Makar College for being the whole school at this competition. We cannot create competitions like these without you. Shout out to Newton as well as Pritt for being here as well for the sponsors of this event. We've got world-class athletes competing in front of the crowd over here and the high school kids are going to get a feast. The men's lineup, world-class lineup, world-class juniors, world-class uh, senior athletes that are rising from this group here. So let's see how the 150 is going to go. Definitely a beautiful platform for the athletes to prepare for the 2022 season. So shout out to what is called Help McCart College as well as Newton Agency and Pritt 
for putting this event together and allowing the youngsters to watch the elite athletes race at the event. But also we're seeing a lot of special youngsters showcasing their talent at the Goa Liga event hosted by World School Health McCard College. We have the 400 meter for boys and the 17 second heat off to a good start, clean start. It looks like we have World School Health McCard there taking the lead. All right, and now the introduction for the men's race for the 150 meter as you can see it's going to be a stellar lineup the guys are just there waving and getting ready for the race you can see benjamin richardson a very talented man he's also in there just watching but in lane number one we've got the man who goes by the name of jorim bengu he is from cameroon 19 year old phenomenal world under 20 championships finalist in kenya in lane number two, we've got Ethan Noble, the noble man, 150 meter, he's 23 years old, 120 meter specialist. He's always featuring in the Newton Classic shootouts and it's gonna be a fantastic race. Let's see what we will be able to bring to this field. And in the lane number three, he goes by the name of Rivaldo Roberts. He is also a fantastic athlete. SA silver medalist in the 110 meter hurdles in 2021. Lane number four, we've got Tembu Munareng. A fantastic runner over here, a sprinter, fourth African under 20 championship gold medalist as well. Just 23 years old, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Pembu. We're gonna be looking out to and to watch. And in lane number five, we've got Benjamin Richardson. He is the young man who won a silver medal at the World Under 20 Championships, and he's featuring in this race. Let's see what he'll be able to do. And the dangerous man do they eating him. Running so easily there as it comes to the last straight of the... Oh, there we got the guys, the big guys, Timba. Benjamin Richardson. This guy showcased his talent at the World Under-20s where he got the silver medal in the 100 meter. A lot of these youngsters that are running here today, you know, look up to him. We got the guy from Water School for into crossing the line over there in 54.17 seconds on the 400 meter hurdles. These guys are showcasing some... Past four. Let's see how the time was. There was a bit of a rain delay in the beginning, but I believe they've been holding the time to the T and everything is on schedule and moving smooth. Stay tuned, guys. That 150 meters is coming up after the 100 meter sprints. But today, so just stay tuned. You do not want to miss this one. It's one for the books and you want to witness it as it happens. Hey, eh? we don't like late news. We don't like delayed news. We want to see the action live. We want to catch it live. We have seven boys in this race. Beautiful fast start there from the boy on the inside. Wurskul Waterkloof taking it nicely over there. We have Wurskul Help McCart also in the mix. And Wurskul into But the boy from Wurskul Waterkloof is running really well on the inside over there in lane one. Taking it in. See how these men are going to fare out. But in the women's race, don't forget about the likes of uh, Marzan Lewis. Let's not forget about Boypele Chumese. Banele Shabangu, the youngster. Shirley Nekubi. Nekubui. She was the champion in 2021 uh, so she is also one to look out for so Boypelo, uh, Shirley, Marzan there's a race uh, lined up there I mean I don't want to pick up any favorites but it's going to be a fantastic race is all I'm saying definitely and these ladies have different aspects to the race that we're going to be looking out for like Marzan Lutz has a great finish you know um, Banele Shabango young young talented athlete very tall beautiful strides over the the 150 meters, the 200 meters over there, you know, lengthy strides. But boy, Pelo Shimese said this year, everything she does is a secret and she's coming with the punches. So we cannot wait to see what she has in store for us. It's going to be a great, great race. As we see there, we have the 100 meters, all the athletes, all the high school athletes getting ready and lined up over there. Once we're done with that 100 meters, then we're on the 150 meters at the Newton Classic shootout. It's all about speed on this track. The conditions look favorable. There's no rain, there's no wind. We know that UJ is a fast track, so it's going to be great. Yep, we've got the 100 meters as well coming up, and you can see the athletes also getting riled up and ready for this one. It's going to be beautiful to watch. The hundreds always bring that. Good warm up before, good warm up before we get into the 150s watching uh, the, the, the 100 meter race. Let's see who the speedsters are from these schools. Help my card, Egea Janssen, Waterkloof, Furentu, Randberg, Swarkop. Menlo Park, Garsfontein, it's going to be fantastic. Fantastic to see the youngsters coming through and showcasing their talent. You know, setting the benchmark for the 150 meters we see there in our, in our screen. Kayla Murray, we had on back chat last night. She says she wears a 
pink paper clip on her left spike. That is her superstition. That's what gets her focused and allows her to run fast. So we, we'll be looking out for that pink paper clip. <laughs> Girls standing behind the blocks there, that will be girls under 15 to kickstart this 100 meter sprints at the World School Help Makar Gewelige event. The girls are nervous, it's a fast race, it's a short race, it's an explosive race. It's all about speed and power. Cannot wait to see what these girls have. At least just settling in the blocks at the moment, you can see the nerves are just picking up. And I think that's the beauty about athletics, you know, it's all about conquering those nerves and making sure that you come out on top. You come out on top regardless of how you feel, just putting it all in the box, focusing yourself. Whew. It's just about getting out of the blocks as fast as you can and not thinking about anything, emptying the mind and just running flat out to the finish line. So that's what these athletes are going to be doing. They're very young, uh, a lot to learn about athletics. So let's see what the young... In the back straight there, you can see the likes of Rivaldo Roberts getting ready. The youngster there, Bradley Willifon, he's coached by coach uh, Paul Horis. Uh, he said, listen, Temper, this boy is ready. Let's give him a chance. Let's see what he has to do. And that's the beauty of the Newton Classic Shootout uh, event. We've got seniors going shoulder to shoulder with junior and young athletes. And that's what it's about, giving the athletes a platform to perform. We don't know who the next big athlete will be. He's getting ready. Tembo Munareng just tying the sp uh, spikes uh, up and getting his music uh, pumping to get him in the right uh, mood, in the right mind frame. He's standing with his coach there, that's Arno Sneiman, and they're going to be having a fantastic race. We are at UJ Stadium. Eckhart Potgieter, the man in shot over there, and Nosipo Malinga. These two athletes, very young junior athletes with so much talent. And let's see if they'll be able to keep up with the, the seniors. Definitely, it's going to be extremely interesting. See if the juniors can give the seniors a run for the money for their money, both in the men's and women's 150 meters. But on track now, we have the girls under 14 hundred meters schools getting ready to take off, just waiting for the clock to be set. And then it's going to go up all the way to 17s, 18s, and 19s. So a lot of hundreds still still come. We had a bit of a delay due to the rain, uh, but uh, the program is moving, and we should have the 150 meter Newton Classic Shootout race powered by Pritt starting just a bit after quarter past four for those of you who are watching online it's still happening guys don't move you don't don't move if you want to do something you've got a split second now and in the end then to do it but once we get started we're gonna go but anyways when the hundreds go off you don't move either way because you never know what time this athlete will clock we got the girls under 1400 meters in their starting blocks it's now or never. That's when the nerves are kicking in, but you're so focused and ready, and you're just focusing on that gun firing. And there we go, clean start over there, and it looks like the girl on the inside from Word School, Waterkloof. Oh, she got a beautiful dry face, and she's going, she's going strong. Last 50 meters over there, no one is catching her. We have the girl from Word School, Help Makar, coming at the end. Is it going to be a dip? And it's Word School, Help Makar that takes the first victory for the girls under 14, 100 meters in a time of 12.85 seconds. Beautiful finish from the girl from Word School, Help Makar. Absolutely blistering finish. For just 14 years of age, running 12.85. That's a great time, Timber. It is a great time, um, and that's what these competitions are about. I mean, if you've got your school and you've got all everybody that is tuned in and watching you whilst you race, you know, your adrenaline is pumping. You just want to make sure that you give your 100% best, and that's what these athletes are all doing out here uh, this uh, afternoon. And we've got so many more races that are coming up. And let's see, let's see what is going to happen as the day progresses. Definitely, we have two finals here for every age group. So we have the girls under 14 final two of two lining up and they have to race the clock. We saw the first race or the first final finish in a time of 12.85 seconds. So they have to beat that time in order to get the gold medal. It's going to be interesting. It's always interesting when you're racing against the clock and not against the competitor next to you. It makes it just a little harder because you have to wait for the final times to be released to find out if you are the gold medalist or not. As we get ready there for final two of two in the girls under 14 100 meter, the starter has got his go ahead, his green light, and the girls are about to go on the marks in their starting blocks. 
Girls under 14, final two of two. Focused on that start, focused on the gun, focused on the first 10 meter drive phase. And then it's just taking it right through to the finish line. Remember, they're chasing a time of 12.85 seconds. And we have a clean start over there as well. Looks like in the middle over there, Wurskul, Wurden to help Makar. No one has really broken away. Oh, wait, Wurskul, Waterklopp has taken the lead. But at the outside, Wurskul, Menlo Park is coming through. It's going to be a dip again. And Wurskul, Menlo Park takes it in a time of 12.75 seconds. Definitely faster than the first final. Great, great finish again from the outside athlete there. And it's Wurskul, Menlo Park that takes that victory. Gain him a beautiful time for girls under 14. 12.75. This makes me really excited for the future of track and field in our country super exciting and you can see these schools are out here on a wednesday they're going to be running uh, fast against each other and saturday we've got the big event also coming up which is the twister super school series so a lot of these athletes we will see them again running there the weekend so it's amazing to see how how much running they do and how much how competitive they remain regardless of the races and we've got the newton classic shootout Right, next up we've got the boys under 14 100 meters we saw what the girls did let's see what the boys can do uh, they look like they're getting ready uh, for this one as well just getting the last minute lane draws and then it's action definitely these boys look very strong very tall very big for 14 years old it makes me miss my high school days of racing they're ready they look fired up we have the likes of where's called water in this race where's called Jansen. Where is called Menlo Park? Where is called Help Makar? Let's see who's going to take this one. Starters are waiting for their indication and the green light to get this race going. As the boys go on their marks, this is again where all the focus sets in. Visualizing that first step out of the blocks, visualizing that dry phase, focusing on the finish line. Let's see what time these boys are going to put on the clock for us. Boys under 14, final one of two. Okay, just a technical error over there and the boys are standing up again. We see there in our picture, one of the 150 meter boys just taken off in the start over there. Looks like the Cameroonian, he's ready. He's on fire and he's ready to take on this 150. He's ready to take on the South African guys. It's gonna be an interesting race. Back to the boys under 1400 meter final, one of two. Just a technical error there for the first start and we see the, the boy in the middle of our picture getting ready, getting his blocks ready. The boys are focused, they want the victory. They want to be the fastest boy on track in the 100 meters. predicting a good good time over here sub 12 seconds let's see what the boys can do as they go on their marks just correcting the boy on the outside lane you like this like what getting his fingers behind the line you compete yourself yeah. Uh, okay. Another one technical issue over there, another technical yeah. error. Sure. Just helping the guy out uh, in lane 7, resetting his blocks, putting you. it in place. Uh, These boys must be very nervous right now because that's the second technical error. Let's go, maybe third time lucky. The boys are back on their marks again. Hopefully they get a clean start this time around.
And they're off immediately. Help my guard pushing. And we've got also Charles Fontaine in there in the glasses. But Father Kluf in the blue there. You can see him moving away from the field at the moment. He's pumping his arms. Nobody's going to stop him. As, Chim, as he comes over the line, he is clear of the field. It looks like in second place is Ekhia Janssen and, and uh, Hursko Mendupar in third place. Beautiful time over there. Like we said, sub 12, 11.80 seconds for the boys under 14. First 100 meter final of two. Remember, we have two finals over here, so it's all about chasing that time, chasing the clock. The next final wants to beat 11.80 seconds, but the victory in that first final for the boys under 1400 meters was worse for Water Club. And there's Ben Gui getting ready for the 150 meter for men. The men from Cameroon recently competed at the World Under 20 Championship in 2021 for Cameroon, and he's here. Some internationals. He's a fantastic hurdler, 110 meter hurdles, under 20 athlete. And you can just see him doing some strides, just testing out those bends to see if the combos are communicating or not. But we've got Eckhart Pothito also. Listen, I hold this boy in high regard. He's so talented. He's a phenomenal uh, sportsman and athlete. Look out for him. Let's see. He's just, he struggles with injuries, but don't cross him out. Don't cross him out. It's going to be a fantastic one. The Newton Classic Shooter part by Pert is all about athletes stepping up against all odds, performing in front of thousands and thousands of people who are watching on the live stream and even live, you know, so that's what it's all about, dealing with pressure. Definitely, the stadium is packed and these guys are ready for a show from these elite athletes. Ekar Potrita, just 19 years of age, so he's a youngster and we cannot wait to see what he's going to do against the seniors over here today, Ethan Noble, Rivalda Roberts, who's been in the game for quite a while. It's going to be a very, very good start. We have another youngster on 150 meters, Benjamin Richardson. These guys are chasing a sub-15, so it's going to be interesting. Very interesting race coming up just after these 100 meters. We see there the second final of the boys under 14 getting ready to run their 100 meter. They're chasing a time of 11.80 seconds, won by the guy, the boy from Wurskul Waterkloof. So let's see who's going to take the gold medal in boys under 14, 100 meters. We see the guy from Wurskul, Krasfontein, just getting into his blocks, testing out his blocks, getting ready for the race. So beautiful to see all these youngsters, you know, so energized and ready and excited for track and field. The starter is just waiting for the green light to get this race going. Beautiful, beautiful atmosphere, beautiful conditions tonight at UJ Stadium. The weather is good. We had a bit of rain, you know, interrupting the program and delaying the program, but it is clear blue skies right now. Favorable conditions for great running. We have no wind, so we're going to see some fast times tonight, Ember. Favorable conditions, and we're off in the men's uh, boys under 1500 meter. Under 1400 meter, Ikhya Janssen pushing World School, Menlu Park also in the inside. This one, he's going to take this one. Ikhya Janssen, oh, Menlu, it's going to be Ikhya Janssen taking it on the line with a time of 12.83, a bit slower from what we saw in the first heat where we saw 11.8. Definitely slower over there by a second. So we know that the, the youngster, the boys under 14 from World School, Waterclub, has taken that victory in a smashing time of 11.80 seconds. You know, setting him his future in track and field up perfectly. Beautiful running there from the guys. This is the Wurzkul Helmkar College Chowalicha event at the UJ Stadium, and they have allowed us to host the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Prit. Event number two, we have the 150 meters men and women coming up as soon as these 100 meters are done, and then we have the 600 meters for men and women coming up a bit later. We have elite athletes from all over the continent coming to race today and they want to put on a show. <laughs> Seems like we have three heats for the boys under 14, 100 meters. Heat three seems to be lining up and getting ready. So again, the youngster from Vatercroft at then 11.80 seconds has to wait for the, for the time of this heat. So we see who takes the overall victory and who takes the overall gold medal for the boys under 1400 meters as they go down in their blocks we have help mekaar grasfontein waterkloof getting ready for this race oh 
we'll fall start there from the youngster word school water growth it looked like in the center of the race in the center of our picture let's see what happens was it a, a technical issue was it a misfire was that a false start it's always interesting as you wait behind your blocks am i going to be disqualified have i been training for nothing it's it's always disappointing for the athlete you know at that final moment and stage to just be disqualified so let's hope and pray that it's just a technical error or misfire and the athlete gets to race because he looked like he was ready to put on a good time here at the UJ Stadium track. For those who have just tuned in, we're at UJ Stadium in Auckland Park at the Word School Help Makar College Gouwe Liga event. And they are hosting the second event of the Newton Classic Shootout. We have 150 meters coming up soon. We see in our picture over there Ethan Noble. Youngster getting ready. He is not new to the Newton Classic shootout. He has been racing in the 150 meters as well as the 60 meters for a while. And our lane draws over there for the women's 600 meter. In lane number one, we've got the women's race which is going to be coming up. And I see that is currently the men's race for the 600 meter. We're going to start with the 150 meter for a women's race. I'm sure they will put that up uh, shortly. But we should have uh, Vales Carnell, uh, the likes of Banele Shabangu, Shirley Nekubui, Lene Kloster is not in here. We've got Boipele Chemese, Nosipo Malinga. It's going to be a great one. Don't forget about Shirley Nekubui. It's the 10 year anniversary of the Newton Classic shootout. We're celebrating 10 years. Back to the 100 meter action that is going to be coming up on the track shortly. So we see that the youngster from Word School Vaterkloof was disqualified. That's always sad and always a disappointment before a race. But we have the boys under 14. Final number three. They're chasing a time of 11.80 seconds. Let's see who takes this race. Second time round and it's a clean start. And we have the youngster from Word School Vaat. Help my car. Oh no, it is Word School. Krasfontein coming through, but we have a youngster coming through, powering through all the way, and what is he going to cross the line? And he crosses it in 11.52 seconds, definitely faster than our first He definitely faster than our first final. Beautiful running style. He took it from the gun, running right through smoothly. 11.52 seconds, Timber. Can yeah. you run that fast? It's getting heated up. I mean, uh, I don't know, not in these jeans, but uh, maybe if you give me some spikes and uh, minus a few of the years on my age, uh, I could, I could possibly, uh, possibly do that. Um, but the athletes from Kes, you can see in the colors of Kes, the red and white, they're the ones who are out here shining at the moment. They took first and second in this race. Uh, and the young athlete from Mokharasfontein um, finishing in third. But here we go, Duke Kuwali. You can see him, he's like a lion, trying to work his way through the crowd. And when he gets his prey, he will attack by snatching that golden prize, which is the title of the Newton Classic Shootout. 150 meter title powered by Pritt. Oh, I'm telling you, Duke is one to watch for finishing second in 2021 behind Clarence Munyai. Will this be his year? Many have crossed him out. I know they have, but Duke Kuwali is one to look out for. Expect a fast one in the 150. Expect a scorch of a race. Expected to be a very fast one. And then a lot of people are going to be saying, I never expected it. I never expected it, but it's going to be good. I think all of these guys are hungry. All of them are looking for their prey. All of them are lions. So it's all about who's going to be the fastest lion on the track today. We cannot wait to see what they put up us. We have the girls under 15 final one of two in their starting blocks in 100 meters. We have Wurzkel Grasfontein, Wurzkel Waterkloof, Wurzkel Menlo Park, Wurzkel Help Makar. Let's see what they do. It seems like it's Grasfontein on the inside over there that has taken the lead, but Wurzkel Waterkloof is chasing. It's Grasfontein on the inside, it's Waterkloof, it's Help Makar. This is going to be a photo finish. Who's going to dip across the line first? And it's Wurzkel Help Makar in a time of 12.77 seconds. Beautiful there from the girls. Under 1500 meter words school help my car taking the first final of two. She is happy, she is shocked. She never expected to win that race, but she gave it her all. She never gave up. She powered through right through the finish line. Beautiful race there from our youngster from Word School, Help my car. And we're looking at 
the second final of the girls under 15 100 meters. We have again Grasfontein, Wurskel EG Janssen, Wurskel Waterkloof, Wurskel Menlo Park and Wurskel Forentu. And we have the 150 meter lane draws for ladies. We have Aleska Nalde who is in lane 2 and we have Banele Shapangu in lane 3, Marazan Luat in lane 4, Boy Pelo Chimese in lane 5, Shirley Nkambuye in lane 6 and Nosipo Malinga in lane 7. It's going to be a crack over race, it's going to be a good one. But Pelo Chimese is looking to take the double in the 60 and 150. Well, one of the girls disappoint her, only time will tell. This is the race we are waiting for. The 150 meter women's race is going to be electric. This is the Newton Classic Shooter powered by Pritt. Ooh. Alyssa Conley, you're going to have to cool me down because I'm super excited at the moment. In picture there, we've got Duke Wally. He is the man who's going to be running in the 150 meter. Nosipo Malinga, he's in the mix. He's also getting ready. And you can see that the young athletes, they, they, they're almost starstruck looking at these guys, looking at how tall and strong they are. And it's a fantastic one. Look over there, we've got Boy Pelo. Chemese, she's getting ready in the blocks. We've got Ethan Noble, the noble young man, also getting ready in the blocks whilst the hundreds are also about to kick start. And look at that start. Look at them go. Power drive. Speed. It's going to be a good one, Tim. But don't worry, I have my water <laughs> ready to cool you down after the race because I think we're going to be in for a surprise. We have the girls under 15, final two in the starting blocks on their marks. They're chasing a time of 12.77 seconds. Let's see what they put on the clock. And a clean start over there as well. We have Wurskul Grasfontein on the inside. Wurskul Erge Hansen. This is still a tight race. We have Wurskul Menlo Park. Wurskul 4 and 2. Wurskul Erge Hansen just taking over there. But 4 and 2 is coming with a strong finish. Is it going to be? Ooh, that is a photo finish and a half. I think it's Wurskul 4 and 2. It's very tight between Wurskul 4 and 2 and Erge Hansen. Let's see who takes it in a time of 12.87 seconds. Slightly slower than the first final, but a beautiful race. They fought all the way to the finish, and it was all about the dip at the end. And we have Wurskul Fuerentu in first place. And Wurskul Erge Janssen second, Menlo Park third, Grasfontein fourth, and Waterkloof fifth. Timber, how important is that dip at the end? Hey, the dip is so important. You know what I mean? You can't have your packet of nachos, your packet of whatever without the dip you know the dip gives that extra sauce that extra spice it gives you that extra split second if you are sprinting so it helps a lot so the dip is important uh, whether you're eating or running you better make sure you have it with you but let's not forget about the newton classic shooter power print if i was to think of all the records that have been run at this competition there's been fantastic records south african records broken we saw kani simbini do it in 2020 in the 150 meter breaking the 100 or oh, equaling the 150 meter uh, sa record which was ran, ran by Anaso Jobodwana as well against Gatlin. I'm sure you know him. We mm -hmm. also have had Casta Semenya, the Cobra, running the 300 meter SA record at this very stadium, and the crowd went wild. So, a lot of records have been broken in this one. Rena van Rensburg in the 600, he did that as well. Clarence Munyai has come out here and shined, and his records still stand in the Newton Classic shootout. Let's see if and which he will stand for another year. But we've got the 100 meter boys in the blocks. Let's see how this race will go. This is the 100 meter boys and the 15 final one of two. And they're in the blocks on their marks. Let's see who takes this one. Good clean start over there. All the boys are running well. Perfect start. Erge Janssen looks good. Waterkloof looks good. Helmacard looks good. Menlo Park looks good. This is going to be another photo finish. There's going to be another dip at the end. And it is worth called Menlo Park. Beautiful running over there in a time of 11.63 seconds. That is what is so exciting about the 100 meters. You never know who's going to cross the line first. It's all about fighting right through the end. It's all about powering through. Don't give up. Run your phases. So exciting. I love it, love it, um, love it. Words go Menlo Park taking the boys under 15, first final in 11.63 seconds. And we see the ladies getting ready for that fire 150 meter. Panele Shibango, Marazan Lourdes, Puepelo Chimese, Shirley, as well as Nosipo Malinga over there for the girls. They are ready. It's going to be fires. Puepelo Chimese obviously wanting to take the double the in the 60 blocks. and 150 Can meters. Timba, it's only been done by one other athlete for the double in the 60 and 150 meters. Yes, that was done by Antoinette, uh, Antoinette van der Merwe. She's um, currently in the I United the States of America, the uh, studying there and getting education. Mm -hmm. and that's what these races do. I, I guarantee you there is always an athlete who comes out and emerges out of these races and is 
seen internationally, is seen by universities, and they get picked up. Antoinette uh, van der Merwe, she ran at the Newton Classic Shootout many, many times before, and after running, she went over America, she went on to represent South Africa, and that's what this race does. It creates a platform for these athletes to shine, to be seen, to give their best, and to be scouted, because way better to find an athlete than where he's running at a big environment, high pressure, a lot of people watching. If they can overcome that, they can overcome anything. 100%. We have the boys under 15, final number two on their marks. They are chasing a time of 11.68 seconds. Let's see if they can beat that time. Oh, and it's a clean start there. Very fast start from Wesco Waterkloof. Almost looked like a fast start, but he is motoring down the final straight over there. He has high knee action, but the guy from Wesco Erge Janssen has overtaken him, and he has crossed the line in a time of 11.56 seconds. Very fast time over there, and I think he is the fastest for the boys under 15, 100 meters. Beautiful, beautiful race, beautiful execution. High knees, it's so good to see the, the guy's technique at such a young age has improved over the years. Beautiful to watch. For those who have just tuned in, we at UJ Stadium, Wersko Help Makar College Gewelige event. And they are hosting the Newton Classic Shootout. And in your picture over there, we can see the 150 meter ladies getting ready for this final fire race. Many records are going to fall tonight. Let's see if Pepe Luchimese takes the double. Joining Antoinette, we see in our picture there, Malinga. She's ready, she is focused. She has a jacket on. Over her head, you know, getting that, that focus, that streamlined visualization is so important when it comes to sprinting. Seeing yourself crossing the line first, seeing yourself around the bend, seeing yourself out of the blocks. It's all about that mental power. We've also seen a picture of Valdo Roberts. He is not new to this race. He is not new to Newton Classic Shootout. And he's not new to this track either. So let's see what he has to do or what he can do in the 150 meters later. Also just taking himself through that bend, through that start. It's all about seeing yourself in the race, Timber. So yes. many technical aspects. But we see there the girls under 1600 meter final number one. They're on their marks. And it's a false start there. It looked like the youngster from Menlo Park. Like I said, it's always disappointing, you know. You're always excited and looking forward to the race. And to be taken out of the race is, is always disappointing. But that's the name of the game. That's how it is. It used to be, you know, two false starts before you get disqualified. But now it's one chance and one chance only. So you always, always have to remain focused on that gun. Absolutely. And I mean, that's what makes the 100 meters such a high... I mean, I don't think until you've run a 100 meter or become a top elite 100 meter sprinter, you know, the amount of pressure the likes of Akani Simbini deal with standing on that line at the World Champs, at the Olympic Games, Commonwealth Games, no room for any mistakes. I can only imagine, just gives me goosebumps thinking about it. So much adrenaline running through your body when you're on your marks like these girls under 16, final one of two. Let's see if they get a clean start now. Beautiful clean start there. It looks like the girl in the middle from Wersko 4 and 2. But we also have Wersko Waterkloof in the inside lane. Wersko Menlo Park chasing hard. But it looks like Wersko Waterkloof. Wersko Menlo is coming back very strong. It's going to be Wersko Menlo Park crossing the line in a time of 12.59 seconds. Beautiful run there. Girls under 1600 meters. Final one of two. The girl from Wersko Menlo Park crossing the line in 12.59 seconds. Timber. Yo, these girls are showing us things, eh? <laughs> At the high school age, only 16 years old, crossing the line in 12.59 seconds. I mean, I, I feel a sub-11 sub coming for our girls' sprinters again this year. That would be so amazing to watch and to mm. see because we, we need the female athletes to step up. Mm. And the potential is there. We've seen the junior level. We've seen the... I mean, the youngsters that went to the World Under-20 Championship, unfortunately, some were sick and couldn't be there and so on. But we had two females uh, competing there, Viwe, uh, Kli, or Zizini, or whatever. <laughs> she's, she's one of those to look out for yeah. for the future. I mean, Banele Shabangu, she's here, youngster, fantastic, as well as Nosipo Malinga. There's the man, the man who won the silver medal at the World Under-20 Championship, Benjamin Richardson. He's going to be one to really look out for in this race. He's, he's quiet. He doesn't look like he's, 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 he's ready. He's a very calm, super relaxed person. But when the gun goes off, 
it's a totally different show. It is the first race for the season for most of these athletes. So they'll be looking to test and see where exactly am I in my training, where exactly am I in my preparation. But we have also got to compete against the best of the best. So it makes it a bit more challenging. But if you look at the outside there, the athlete from World School Help My Car currently moving away from the rest of the athlete. World School Water Club, Menlo Park in second, and then we got Hartz Fontaine in third. But there was a clear, clear, clear victory in a time of 12.18 from the young athlete running in the colors of Help Makar, Help Makar College. Uh, apologies about that, it's Help Makar College. And she did the things, Alyssa, she moved away, she executed to perfection. 12.18 for the women's race, what do you think? Top and one, a beautiful, beautiful time there for the girls and the 16 final, two of two. We saw the first race was running at 12.56, so clear difference in speed and time from 12.56 to 12.18. Beautiful, beautiful race. And we've got more athletes getting ready. We also have that Salma. Salma is getting ready to run in at the, thousand, at the 600 meter, which is later on this afternoon. You can see there the likes of Banele just chilling there, uh, Nosipo Malinga also chilling and the race is uh, coming soon i can uh, i can't even sub imagine how uh, super relaxed they are before the race uh, comes on and uh, there's the young man uh, bradley willifant benjamin richardson in adidas colors over there it just goes to show you know benjamin richardson after running at world champs finishing well there sponsorship you, you can see he's fully dripped in adidas which means that uh, performances always yield so much results and that's why I think we need to work hard. 100 meter we are off and we are clean. We've got Ruben from the World School, Menlo Park in this one. We also have the youngster running on the outside in the colors of Hasfontein but it is going to be World School, Menlo Park taking this one. Fantastic run from him, the, the athlete from World School, Waterkloof, finishing in second and in third place was Hasfontein, also known as Harsis. Beautiful time there from Ruben from Menlo Park, Urusko Menlo Park in a time of 11.36 seconds. That was your boys under 16. Final one of two. Let's see if the next final will spark or finish a far in a faster time. Yeah, like you said, Timba, you know, these girls look so relaxed before the 150 meters. I would have been on my feet jumping around. The nerves would have been at peak right now before my final of the 150 at the Newton Classic shootout power by Pritt. But these girls there, Banila Shabango chilling on her phone. And there's the amazing sponsor for the Classic shootout in 2021, the Newton Classic shootout for 2022 that is powered by Pritt. The fantastic race lined up. We've got the hundreds, more hundreds coming up and we're going to work through them. So there's a bit of a delay due to the rain. So the athletes are in the blocks already ready. We are a bit behind on the schedule. But uh, soon, very soon, we will get those races underway as well. The athletes currently just waiting for their lane draws, getting ready. There's a lot of 100 meter races. 100 meter is always the, the race to watch. It's also usually the most uh, participated in race. And we've got a full field in this one. As the athletes get settled in their blocks, let's see who is going to be the one to watch in this race. As the boys on the 16 final two of twos on their marks. Oh, we clean start over there. The boys are racing through. It looks like the boy from Help McCard in lane two. Kays is trying to push it, but it's Help McCard all the way. What is he going to cross the line in? And he crosses it in 11.32 seconds. Slightly faster in the first final. So we have Help Makar there in first place and then Menlo Park in second place. Beautiful, beautiful running from the guys. In picture there we've got the likes of Ashley Sungwane. He's getting ready. Rante Di Khale. He's a dangerous man in the 600 meter. He's going to be one of the favorites in this race. Mark my words, Rante Di Khale always comes prepared. Recently coming back from the Olympic Games, we ran in the 4x400 meter. So he's got that international experience. He's been to World Relays as well, we ran in the 4x400 meter. So being here on home soil, seeing full crowds again, you know, he's going to be looking to make the most out of this moment. So let's see what Ranti Dikhali will have in store for us. And the guys are all smiling. Ashley Tumwane currently just relaxing. The athletes have noticed that the program is delayed a bit. And that's why they've been relaxing just a bit more. 
but some of the guys just going through the motion to get their starts fixed in time. Yeah, the guy is just staying warm there around the 150 meter bend. We have a little bit of a delay. We're going to be finishing off the 100 meters for the high schools at the Word School Help McCard College Hawaliha event. We have the boys lining up their boys under 16 final three of three. It's so good to see these guys coming in numbers and we're having final one of two, final three of three. Hey Timber? Absolutely. Uh, there's Joel Semenya in picture there. He's also the winner from 2021. He won the 600 meter in the time of the 116.33. Just playing with the Pret soccer ball. The guys are having fun. It's very relaxed at the moment. Their race is a, an hour and a bit away. So the guys are still calm and relaxed. And that's what we want to see. We want to see them smiling. We want to see the athletes just having fun, relaxed. And then when that gun goes off, when the gun goes off, it's showtime. There's no more holding back. It's all about giving your best 100%. I'm talking about 100%, we've got the men in the inside from the World School Water Club currently pushing. He's got the men from Kez also on the outside of him. He's pressing hard into him. It's going to be between Kez and Water Club, but it looks like it's going to be Kez taking this one. Kez taking in a time of 11.17. We're getting closer and closer to that sub-10 as we move on from uh, race to race. Sub-12, uh, sub-11. Sub-11, they Tim, but don't get too excited. Not yet, not yet. But that is our final three of three for the boys under 16 in 11.17 seconds faster than the first two two finals we saw in the first one 11.36 second one 11.32 and this one 11.17 from the boy from cares beautiful beautiful time he showcased some great speed today on the track these guys are warming up the track for our 150 meters newton classic shootout event coming up very very soon we see some competitors there for the 600 meters in picture Joel Semenya the man in running for Maasai uh, running athletic club you can see him I did mention he was a champion from 2021 look out for him in a time of 1 minute 16.33 uh, a very solid time uh, previous years we also had a few 116s in the other years usually a winning time the fastest winning time we've had was Renard van Rensburg when he, when he broke that record and look, look at this man over here he goes by the name of Zagiti Nene. He ran a 45.03 in the 400 meters. Recently went to the Olympic Games where he participated for South Africa there. He's got the experience in his legs. He's the man to look out for for this year. Every time I talk about him, he's talking about breaking that 45 seconds. And the girls' race is underway in the middle of the picture there. We've got the athlete running in the colors of World School Water Club and she's powering away. She moves to the finish line. Nobody's going to stop her comfortable victory in a time of 12.96 seconds that was our girls under 17 final one of two beautiful power race from the girl from water school where is called water club running the time of 12.96 seconds for the girls under 16 final one of two for the 100 meters she showcased a lot of power a lot of power in the legs and we have Panela Shabango I wonder what she's writing in that book Timber I think maybe jotting down some notes from from the high school kids yeah, maybe from the high school kids, maybe we're just writing Dear Diary. Today I am at the Newton Classic Shootout and I'm excited for what's to come. I'm excited. I hope you are too, Alyssa. I'm extremely excited. I want to see what these girls are going to do. Are they going to break that record that stands from Cassidy Williams? Remind us about her time in Timber. Cassidy Williams running a time of 17.44 and she is the current record holder. Nobody's gotten to close enough to threaten it. Nobody's run the 17.4 yet. She's the only one who's done that. So the time is safe for them time being. But we spoke to, we spoke to Boy Pele mm -hmm. and she said records are meant to be broken. Exactly. She's looking forward to break this one. Let's see how she's going to fare out. Potential is there. The lineup is good. Conditions are good. The weather is amazing. It's just up to the ladies to do their thing. The atmosphere is also absolutely exhilarating. So I think if any time that 17.44 is going to fall, it's going to be today. And we see that the girls under 17 final two of two for the 100 meters on the marks. We see Kayla Murray in the colors of Water School Waterkloof. We also have the likes of Help McCarr, Grasfontein, four and two. And it's a clean start and Kayla Murray powers through over there. She is going to win this race, but Help McCart is pushing her. Help McCart is pushing her. It's Waterkloof versus Help McCart. Waterkloof, Help McCart. Waterkloof, Help McCart. It's going to be a tight finish. And it is a photo finish at the end. In a time of 12.11 seconds, we see the girl from her school, Help McCart, giving it her all and falling over the line. That's how much she wants it. That's how much passion she has. And she takes the victory there in first place. 12.11 seconds. 
It was a tight race there between mm -hmm. Wurzko, Waterkloof and Wurzko yeah. helped McCart Timba. Mm -hmm. Diving over the line, there's the Palaburu Express, Ranti Dikhal, the men from Limpopo, Limpopo Champions League. Look at him, he's ready. You can see he's always fit, he's always smiling and he's going to be the man to watch. Yeah. Just showing a bit of his flexibility there before the race gets underway. 600 meter men's race, this is year number 10. This is the only race that has gone from year one all the way to year 10. 600 meter is the blue ribbon event. And I might add another uh, fact is that I am the only athlete to run in all 600 meters from day one. Today would have been year 10, but I'm here with you, Alyssa. I'm accompanying you instead of being there for 10 years or 10 years. 150 meter lane draws for men. In lane number one, Jorim Bengu. In lane number two, Ethan Noble. Lane number three, Rivaldo Roberts. Lane number four, Tembu Munareng. Lane number five, Benjamin Richardson. In lane number six, Duke Kuali. In lane number seven, Bradley Olifon. And in lane number eight, you've got Eckhart Pothiter. That is your lane draw for the men's 150 meter race for the Newton Classic Shootout, powered by Pratt. And we're back on track for the boys under 1700 meter final one of two according to the program but let's see if there's three finals in this race as well the boys are on the marks and it's a clean start for the boys over there it looks like the boy from help mccard beautiful dry phase both boys from help mccard carrying this race taking it through who's it going to be it looks like the one on the outside powerful running style powerful finish in a time of 10.55 seconds oh timber we said sub 11 goodness. is coming and that is not just a sub 11 that is thrashing sub 11 10.55 boys under 17 final one. Oh my goodness that's what i'm talking about Alyssa. that is what i am talking about the way he executed that 10.55 is fantastic the kids these days are so quick under 70 running a 10.55 as if it's in nothing and i mean the competition in this race he pulled away from the word go and he just executed it it looks so easy and uh, that's what is so impressive when i saw the clock i was a bit shocked i was like that relaxed and running that time but that's exactly what you want you need to be relaxed you know about this the more relaxed you are the better you run the faster you run and the better you execute your race that was definitely a technically sound race from my youngster with their beautiful high knee lift beautiful relaxation in the shoulders arm swing was on point and he took it through crossing the finish line in 10.55 seconds the youngster from work could help my car we have the second boys under 17 final lining up at their blocks just setting their blocks up testing it out let's see let's see what they have to do are they gonna break that 10.55 that's a massive time that has been set up over there but anything is possible this is the work will help McCart College Gawaliga event and they are hosting the Newton Classic Shootout event number two powered by Pritt. It's going to be a good one. We have 150 meters coming up shortly for men and women and later on the Blue Ribbon event 600 meters. But right now we have the boys under 17 final two going on their marks. Let's see what this race is going to do. They're chasing a time of 10.55 seconds as they settle in their blocks. Beautiful clean start over there. A little bit of a stumble from Eche Janssen, but he has redeemed himself. And it's Wersko Helpmakar again. Eche Janssen, Wersko Helpmakar, Eche Janssen. And we have Milba. Oh, and we have Kraswa. Oh, it's a photo finish again, Temba. I don't know. These guys are giving it the all another stumble. A time of 11.58 seconds. I don't know if this clock is jumping or playing with us today, but yeah. The clock is fine. Let's <laughs> first. The heat was just sensational. Fires, fires. He ran a time of 10.55, a second, a second faster. A second faster. That, that is where it comes down to that technically sound and technically executed race. And in the picture over there, we've got Tembu Munareng just having a chat with Bikhokonolo, uh, Maseko. And they're just discussing some rain plays. Listen here, boy, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it nice and easy. I'm going to hit the bend fast. And in picture as well there, we've got Paul Horis. Coach Paul Horis is also in picture over there. And he's going to be just briefing his athletes before the race, waiting patiently for the race to get started. And the 150-meter race for the Newton Classic Shootout, powered by Pritt, is about to get underway. As you can see, the ladies there, Boipelo Chemese, Banele Shabangu, and also Nosipo Malinga in picture in the moment. They're all just getting ready, getting into their race gear. Bub numbers are on. That's when you know it's nearly time to line up at the 150 meters at their starting blocks. That's the exciting times. 
And we're back on track over there. We have the boys under 17 final three of three in the 100 meters. They are chasing a time of 10.55 seconds. Let's see what these boys can do. We only have four athletes in this race. And it's a clean start over there. Beautiful running. It looks like the boy from Kears. Boy from Menlo Park. Kraswentain. Kears. Menlo Park. Kraswentain. Kears. Menlo Park. Kraswentain is taking it away. And he crosses the line in a time of 11.36 seconds. Beautiful running. Very close competition over here. That is what I love to see. Absolutely. And if, if you saw in lane number four, we had the uh, Paralymp Paralympic athlete. Uh, he r ran at the US at the Paralympic Games uh, last year. He was also running, obviously, MPT. You can see he's running with the blade. Beautiful to see these guys coming out here and showcasing their talent. I love seeing our Paralympic athletes running against the able bodied guys and, you know, not showing no fear. Just setting the standard over there, coming through. Absolutely. You know, if we, when, it, when it comes to athletics or when it comes to performance, you can see the backtrack by athletes, for athletes, all about the athletes, all about making sure that the athletes get exactly what they need in order to be at the best position possible. Those are the 600 meter men still resting underneath the tent. And uh, at the moment, just a few more hundreds to go before we get started with the first 150 meter women's race for the Newton Classic Shootout. On Our track budget. now, we have the girls under 17, 100 meters. They're lining up at the starting blocks. This is final one of two. Let's see what these girls are gonna do. Fastest time for the girls this far was a 12.18 seconds. Let's see if any of the girls are gonna break that 12 and get a, a sub 12 and, and leave us with a 11 second race over here. And it's a clean start for the girls. Still no one taking the lead on this race yet. But the girls are coming through nicely. Looks like Wersko help Makar. Wersko Hraswintain. Wersko help Makar on the outside over there. Running very strongly. Great finish at the end in a time of 12.76 seconds. That is our final one for the girls under 17, 100 meters. The victory taken by Wersko help Makar in a time of 12.76 seconds. Beautiful running style at the end there. Bringing through the power on the last 50 meters that's very very important as well Timber. absolutely i mean if you look at the sprints the, the athlete who's able to get that second gear at the 50 meter mark he's usually the special athlete i mean you've got the likes of akani simbinu with amazing leg turnover where he just finds another gear uh, in the picture over there that is salma uh, salma is getting ready to run in the 600 meter for women by athletes for athletes zagiti nene also there with his hoodie on just getting in the zone getting into that olympic elite mindset uh to to get before the race but coming up next we've got the 150 meter women's race you can see they're in the blocks they're getting ready it's almost go time and once that gun goes off we're gonna see sparks flying it's gonna be electric electric and super electric back to the 100 meters girls under 17 this, this is final two of two they're chasing a time of 12.76 seconds let's see what these girls can do on track the youngster from Wurzquil Fraswentain just setting her blocks up testing it out getting ready for this race you see behind her there Rivaldo Kutsia doing his warm up run around the 150 meter bend as you guys can see in the picture the 100 meter races are becoming less and less which means the time for that Newton Classic shootout 150 meter powered by Pritt is getting closer and closer and it's going to be a race and a half. We cannot see what these athletes are going to do. But in the blocks right now we have the girls under 17 100 meter final 2 of 2 focused on the marks. They are chasing a time of 12.76 seconds. Let's see what they can do. Clean start for the girls over there. Looks like the girl from Grasfontein on the inside running very, very well. She has taken the lead from the gun. We also have Eje Janssen chasing her down. Grasfontein, Eje Janssen, Grasfontein, Eje. And it is a total finish, but it looks like Eje Janssen in a time of 12.10 seconds. Very good race, very tight race. These girls are bringing everything they have to the track. I love seeing it. I love seeing the passion. I love seeing the fire. Oh, Temba, it excites me. Goosebump moments over here. Was that a sigh of relief, a sigh of excitement? I heard that and I can see you getting fired up here. Alyssa, it's just a build up. 
to build up to what is going to be even faster and more electric races on the track. As you can see, the clock is back to zero again. There's the man, Motlame, running in the colors of UJ. He'll be running in the 600 meter uh, race. Uh, he's chatting to uh, uh, the man from Masai Athletics Club. He goes by Joel Simenya. He's in, in, on his right in the pink shirt over there. So the man from UJ, he's at his home ground. He knows this track better than everybody else, I'm sure. So let's see how it's going to go. But next up, we're getting ready for the Newton Classic Shootout, Power Pipe Prit. This is the 150 meter race for women, Alyssa. This is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the time we've been waiting for. And it has arrived. No more going back. No more holding back. It's almost time for the Newton Classic Shooter Power by Pritt 150 meter race. It's going to be a good race. The girls are ready. Setting up their blocks. Testing the blocks. We see Marizan Luertz there in the picture. She came second on the 60 meter in the last Newton Classic shootout last week at Ramsa. She was a surprise second place over there. Beautiful finish at the end, but we're back at the track at the start of the 100 meters. Boys under 17, final number one. Let's see what these guys do. Clean, oh, I nearly spoke too soon. Not a clean start. I never saw what happened there. Very tight, let's see. Hopefully it was a misfire and not a false start. Let's see what the official says to the starter. We have Grasfontein in lane one. Was it him? Oh, it was the athlete from Fuorento over there, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Getting the DQ, getting the red card, Temba. It's always sad. It's always heartbreaking. It's never nice when that happens, but that's how the athletes train. Even the training, you know, we're so strict about having the discipline, having that patience, waiting, you know, not just uh, getting out of your blocks. I know the nerves also play a part. Hard lesson to learn, you know, we've got uh, top athletes who go to Olympics and have to learn in the heats or the semi-finals or finals of the Olympics. And these athletes have to learn this from a young age. But we're getting ready for the boys, 100 meter under 17. Let's see who will take this one. This is final number one. The boys are on the marks. And it's a clean start this time round. Oh! Another. Wait, wait, wait. The class from 10 guy is still going. He hasn't realized yet. No. That is unfortunate. He nearly ran 50 meters of this 100 meter race and they're being called back by the starter. Let's hope it's not another DQ. Seems like it's the green card that the official is carrying over there. So it could be a technical area error. Misfire from the gun probably. Thank goodness. No one is disqualified again. We see in our picture Ethan Noble. The noble young man running in the lane he, he represents uh, a, a new era of sprinters in South Africa. These guys are so focused, and you can see the amount of focus and drive they put into this sport. Tembo Munareng, currently in picture, also one of those fourth at the World Under-20 Championship a few years back. And he's looking for that senior breakthrough. We know he's gone uh, very fast already. He'll be looking to get into that 10-0 mark in the 100 meter this season. Benjamin Richardson recently coming back from the World Under-20 Championships last year where he finished silver. He also broke the SA 4x100 meter record, the world record as well. And you can see the boys here currently running in the 100 meter sprints on the outside. We've got the young man from Kez looking very explosive and looking very calm. Comes over the line, what will the time be? That's what we're going to be looking at next. And it is a time of 11.01. Wow. He made it look very easy. Looks like he was limping a bit there. I don't know what, what was happening. But 11.01, it's a decent time to get the boys under 17 uh, races uh, moving. Let's see if anybody will run faster. Panele Shebango, we hear the thunder in the background over there. And I think it's just an illustration of what's going to happen on the track today. These sprinters are going to bring thunder and lightning to the track when they hit it. 150 meters coming up at the Newton Classic Shootout, powered by Pritt. We see the boys also testing out their blocks. We have what it looks like one more 100 meter event coming up. Ethan Noble over there in the picture, in his blocks, testing it out, getting ready for this 150 meter shoot out at the Newton Classic Shootout. 2022 powered by Pritt. He is no stranger to the shootout. He is no stranger to the 150 meters. He is no stranger to this track. Let's see what he is going to bring. In picture there, Joe Simenya. Next to him, Motlame. These guys are getting ready. Boykanyo Motlame in picture over there. 
He recently ran a 149 at a league at uh, the CGA Athletics League. He ran a 149, so he'll be trusting his legs as they get closer towards uh, the 600 meter. So let's see how he will be doing in that one. Rante Dijale, still very calm at the moment. Haven't even started warming up. And we're off clean in the boys under 17, 100 meter. This is the second heat or the third heat. And on the outside, it looks like the men in the inside from Hotma Korsner take it. But on the outside, the two athletes from Kez are powering over the line. And they win in a time of 11.21 seconds. Kez taking first and second in this one. The youngster from Help Makar holding on as much as he could. But third place was the best that he could take out in that race. Beautiful run there from the Cares boys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Prit. The time has finally arrived. It's time. Kinago, the 150 meter race for women that we've been waiting for is upon us. There's no more hiding. There's no more waiting. The blocks are ready. The athletes are ready. They've been waiting a long time to get ready. And the time has finally, 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 finally come. Let's see who's going to be taking this one in the women's 150 meter race powered by print. In lane two, we have Banele Shibangu, the young 19 year old that's going to take us through this race. And in lane three, we have Marzan Luert. She was second last week at the 60 meter at the Newton Classic Shootout. Then we have Boipelo Chimese in lane four. And in lane five, Shirley Nkubuya. And in lane six, we have Nosipo Malinga. These girls are ready. These girls are fire. They're about to bring the heat for the 150 meters at the Newton Classic Shootout. It's going to be a fire. Tema, are you ready? I'm super excited for this one. I'm ready. It's going to be a humdinger of a race. The women's race is coming first. And you can see the lane draws, they're getting through the lanes at the moment. We've got the likes of Banele, who's going to be one to look out for. Uh, we can also look at Nopsipo you know, Malinga, who's going to be excited and looking forward to this one. Alyssa, fast race coming up. Very fast race coming up. We have Marazan Luotz there that came through in a powerful finish. Last week at the 60 meters, we have Boy Pelo Chimese, who won the 60 meters last year. And she is chasing the double victory at the Newton Classic shootout. We have Shirley. Ngubuye also coming up over there and the youngster Nosipo Malinga she is ready for these seniors she wants to bring fire she's only 18 years old this is going to be a race it's going to be fires the conditions are favorable we're at the Newton Classic shootout powered by Pritt and the girls are ready they are standing behind the starting blocks we are about to see who is the fastest on the 150 meters in 2022 at the Newton Classic shootout powered by Pritt. They are chasing that record of 17.44 seconds. Tema, I think it's going to happen today. I am ready. I am excited. It's going to be super exciting. It's a very, very, very strong lineup. It's going to be electric. I'm so excited to see who's going to be the one who's going to make it count. It's all about this moment. The time has come for the Newton Classic shootout powered by Pritt. 150 meter women's race is up. Chemese giving a high five to the young uh, Nosipo Malinga or Shabangu actually. Marzan Lewis also just smiling, getting ready for this one. Shirley Nekuvi also on the outside looking very ready and focused on this one. And Nosipo Malinga on the outside lane. She has to do the work from the outside to make sure that it's an electric and super fast pace. Otherwise, they will swallow her up. Yeah, definitely. When you're blinded and you can't see anything from the outside, you have to go from the gun. 150 meters is a short race, short but powerful race. We see Boy Pelucci Messi there smiling, dancing. She told us that she just plays anime in her head all the time. Nosipa Malinga there. This is a beautiful platform for her. Young 18-year-old racing these girls at the Newton Classic shootout, 150 meters. The girls are ready. The girls are just waiting for the starter to get the green light before they go on their marks into the blocks it's gonna be fires it's gonna be exciting stay tuned guys stay tuned you don't want to miss this one i told about this if you want to go to the bathroom the time for that is done the race has arrived you don't even want to blink or you will miss who the winner is this is coming to you straight and live from backtrack so if you're making sure that you you you're tuned in and watching share the link to everybody who's out there follow our pages to get more videos like this 
more live streams and this is the new 10 classic shooter powered by Prit. This event is hosted by Help Makar College. They're the school they decided they want us here. We want to see you involved in the school. The starters just getting the, the gun ready for electronic timing. It's going to be electric. It's going to be a spectacular. We are ready for the 150 meter race. I hope you're ready back home. If you're online, send us a message. Send us a message. Uh, drop a, a comment and say which race you looked out for and which athlete you are begging to win this one. 100% we see Panela Shibangu there, just 19 years old, such long legs, such powerful legs, reminds me of the Alison Felix of South Africa, beautiful, beautiful picture over there of her running in lane two. And next to her we have Marazan Lewis who came through strong in our 60 meters at the Newton Classic shootout last week, taking second place over there. Then we have in lane three, Boy Pelo Chimesi, she is the 60 meter champion in the classic Newton Classic shootout. And next to her, we have Shirley Nkubuyu. And she is going to take on this race as well, Timber. And then we have the youngster, Nusipo Malinga, just 18 years old. This is a big platform for her. Here she's racing elite athletes over here. And she is in lane eight, so she has to take it out from the start, from the gun. I think it's going to be great. Shirley Nkubuyu, she is the defending champion from 2021. <laughs> So let's see if she'll be able to hold on for this title again. It is a big title. She flew all the way from Eastern Cave to be here. She said, listen, I want a lane. I'm going to fly down. Will you guys give me a lane? And how can you say no to a defending champion? She's in here representing uh, the, the University of Madibas. She is in the Madiba colors over there. And in her inside, we've got Bwepele Chemese currently focused and ready for this one. Marzan Luet also in lane number three focused and ready and the youngster Vanele Shabangu in lane number two the starter is just waiting for the green light he is ready he's powered up he has electricity we're at the Newton Classic shootout powered by Pritt and it's the 150 meter women's race coming up as they line up at the starting blocks this is going to be a race you cannot miss we cannot wait the record is 17.44 seconds we see in our picture there Nosipo Malinga Youngster, 18 years old, we see the reigning champ, Shirley Nkabui. Will she hold her title again? Or will Boy Pelo Chemese come for it? She wants the double. She wants to be the second athlete ever to hold the Newton Classic double in the 60 and 150 meters. There's a lot of records to be broken here today. There's a lot of titles to be claimed here today. It's going to be exciting, Temba. Exciting times coming up. The women's race opening the proceedings for the Newton Classic Shooter Power by Pritt. After this, we've got the men's race. The men's race is also coming up, and that's going to be a humdinger of a race. But first, let's focus on the ladies. Look at the focus on Malinga's face. She is ready. She's geared up. She is fired up for this race, and it's time to go. The ladies are going on their marks in their blocks, just doing their last minute routines over there, getting their last jumps in, last leg kicks in. And it's time to go almost. On the marks over there. The official just checking that all the hands are behind the line. They are focused right now. They are ready for this race as the ladies are lining up for the 150 meter. And it's a clean start over there. Let's see who's going to take it from the gun. It looks like Nosipa Malinga, very fast start, but it's Shirley Ngubuye and it's Boy Pelo Timeti and it's Marazan Luet. We said she's a strong finisher and it's Boy Pelo Timeti and it's Shirley Ngubuye. Shirley Ngubuye. Shirley Ngubuye has taken it. The reigning champion, Shirley Ngubuye, is running away with it now. She's opening a gap. Beautiful race. 16.97 seconds, Timber. The record has fallen. The leg record has been. Yo, Timber, 16.97 seconds. What an amazing race. What an amazing victory. She smashed the, the Newton Classic Shooter 150 meter record. The time has fall, finally fallen. Look at the smile on the face. That's the smile of a winner. That's the smile of somebody who's excited. That's a smile of somebody who is satisfied with the way the race went. Shirley Nekubui taking that with a phenomenal time 16.97 unofficially let's see what the official time will be but marzan lewis in picture there she's also very happy she's satisfied with how the things went in the race she's satisfied about the proceedings seems like our top three there shirley um Banele Shibango and marzan lewis so shirley has defended her title we are also getting ready for the next race which is coming up which is going to be the men's 150 meter this is the Newton Classic Shootout 10-year anniversary powered by Pritt. 
and we've got the men's race they're getting in the blocks what a race from the ladies did you see what Shelly did amazing stuff next up the men's race in we've got Bradley Willifant who is also in this race we've got the likes we've got the likes of Duke Kuali, Ethan Noble in lane number two Jareem Bengu in lane number one in lane number three we've got Rivaldo Roberts Kembo Munareng is in this one as well and we've got lane five Benjamin Richardson Duke Kuali in six Bradley Willifant in seven as well as Eka Othita going to be a great race from these guys over here a full full lineup of their eight full lanes these guys are chasing the SA record they want to run under 15 seconds timber and it is possible we see the track is very fast tonight the guys are focused it's going to be a very very fast race are you ready timber i'm super excited for this one i'm ready it's going to be a fast one i'm going to just try to keep as possible with these guys they're going to be flying down the 100 meter they're going to be flying down the bend who will take the 150 meter title there's going to be a new champion maybe yeah there's definitely going to be a new champion 2021 clarence munyai winning so let's see who's going to be taking this one in 2022 jorim bangui in lane number one he's the man there from cameroon the youngster just a junior last year the world under 20 championship he's in the mix in this race we also have ethan noble rivaldo roberts Kembo munareng benjamin richardson duke Kuali, bradley willifan Eckhart Pothiter, the time has come. As the athletes are settling in the blocks. Quiet for the start, allow the athletes to focus. It's a clean start in the 150 meter race. It is the men race coming up now. Benjamin Richardson looking very explosive around the bend. We've got Duke Wiley at the moment. Timo Munareng is looking very strong. Duke is also in there. Benjamin is falling behind. Duke Wiley is going to take it. Duke Wiley is the noble. Who's going to take it? It's Duke Wiley taking it in a time of 15.17 seconds. The men in the colors of UJ putting on a brilliant display. Alessa, what a fantastic display of sprinting. He just held his form. He held his metal. He held and he said, this is my track. This is where he trains. And he's telling the rest of the guys, this is my track. This is my house. Nobody beats me in my house. <laughs> Definitely. I've been watching Duke at training at the UJ track and he's been looking blistering fast on that 150 meter. I nearly fell off my chair. What a beautiful race. He took it from around that bend into the last 120, right into the final straight. As you guys can see, my chair is laying on the floor. Such excitement here. Duke Kowali, 15.17 seconds. Beautiful, beautiful race, Temba. Oh my goodness. He blew them out of the water. As you can see, the men in picture there, Duke Kowali, just saying, hey, just a little bit more. If I executed a bit faster, it would have been even quicker. But he is excited. You can see he is happy. This is the Newton Classic Shooter powered by Pritt. He's just flexing his biceps. They're saying, listen, I'm the man for the moment. Next year, you'll have to defend the title or take it from me. But for now, the title belongs to me. And that's what the Newton Classic Shooter is all about, powered by Pritt. Thank you for such an amazing race, gentlemen. That was such an honor to watch. We still have the 600 meter races coming up. So we know we're near done yet, guys. So much action coming at the Help Makar College. Hoeliha Dikwal is still in picture over there running away from the rest of these uh, competitors he's excited hopefully we can get him for an interview and have a chat with him about the race but that was explosive unofficial winning time 15.17 we'll get the officials times to you as soon as we get them but what a race that was exciting stuff you can see the kids are a bit stunned they don't know what they just witnessed at the moment but we've got the 400 meters races that will be starting soon as well as other races He's still in picture. There's Duke Wale. Just exciting. He's excited about it. Just to run you through the times. Winning time for Duke. Winning in a time of 15.15 seconds. We've got Duke Wale. And on the outside, the man who was running on the outside in this race, coming in in a time of 15.37 was Bradley Olifon. And running in lane number seven uh, with a time. 15.45 that is your third place finish those are your top finishes a bit of disappointment in the faces of the athletes a bit of frustration but that's how it goes it doesn't always go your way but it was a sensational race and there's duke once again 
just excited about his victory. We're going to get him for an interview shortly and just have a chat about him, about the race and how it went and uh, everything that happened in the race. As you can see there, the youngsters there, uh, Tar Tando, as well as Ray, interviewing uh, Duke uh, before he gets onto the show. He's about to do the interview now and we're just trying to get a quick interview and a photo of him and I think they did get that. But coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, we still have the 600 meter for women and men coming up. So that's going to be an amazing uh, race to watch. Wow, I'm almost out of breath from excitement, almost out of breath from what you just witnessed over here in the women's race. We had Shirley winning in a time of 16.96, second place 17.34 and for the third place going to with a time of 17.43 was marzan and vanele ladies and gentlemen this is the newton classic shootout powered by Pritt. amazing results already we've seen here to just to inform you it is official the newton classic shootout 150 meter record was broken by shelly nekubui dukuale running a time of 15.15 to, 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 to win the 150 meter men's race. Obviously that record belongs to Akani Zimbini at 15.08 seconds and it will be saved for yet another year. Camera 5 is moving back to the back street. I'm moving back to Warm the back Warm up area, the athletes are getting uh, ready. Boikanyo Mutlame over there, the man who runs for UJ. Currently just stretching, chatting with the 1500 meter champion who is Nkosinati Sibiya. there we've got the likes of Salvi Mokocha taking the photos and the videos of the gentlemen they're gonna be getting ready to get warmed up now the program is slightly behind on schedule but talk about action talk about excitement that's what we saw right now in the 150 meter as well as the 150 meter for men and for women Currently on standby for interviews, we'll be doing some interviews with some of the athletes. Vanille Shabangu obviously performing very well in that race, if you can look on the bottom right of the screen. She'll be coming up for an interview just to talk about the race. We're also going to take ch uh, chat to Shirley Nekubuyi to hear what she has to say. She would be excited and happy about the way the race went. And the atmosphere in the stadium at the moment is electric. The high school kids are going crazy. They are so excited of what's to come. There's so much more action. It's a jam-packed evening coming up. The weather is amazing. Seen from the times ran today, the weather was almost perfect. Dukuali winning the 150 meter women's uh, men's race in a time of 15:15, and Shailene Kubui winning in a time of 16.96 in the women's race. Getting ready for some uh, talent. The athletes from Help Makara are going to be displaying their dances. As you can see in the picture over there, it's all about kiss, it's all about having energy, it's all about dancing, it's all about excitement all around. Alyssa Conley currently in standby for interviews. She'll be bringing some of those interviews to you, but at the moment, the performances from Al Makar College. It's a festival of athletics, it's a festival of enjoyment my enjoyment as you can see the help makar scholars they're having fun doing the cheering before 
the next races commence. Entertainment for the crowd, and the crowd is going wild. Op mekaar college. Goeie liege. stuff exhilarating entertainment over there from help Makar college bringing us some entertainment bringing the entertainment and next up we're going to move into a bit of the interviews Lisa Conley is standing with some of the winners of the 150 meter women's race she's on standby currently Next up, we're getting ready for interviews. We have the Newton Classic shootout hosted by Helmer Card College. Guys, it is powered by Crit and it is exhilarating. And the atmosphere is absolutely amazing. On my left, I have Adele Shabango and on my right, I have Shelly Nguyen. And they just ran the 150 meters at the Newton Classic shootout. Shelly, you came and you honored your title from last year. How are you feeling? I'm feeling happy, happy for the my time. Like, I don't accept, like, I don't... Shelly's a little nervous and she just ran a 16.96. How are you feeling, Shelly? I'm so happy, happy for the time. Like, now I'm going to run the game of 16.96. Like, for the last time, or last time I gave me 17.64. Like, I feel happy for the time. Beautiful improvement there, 17.64 to 16.96, absolutely amazing. We have a young Vanilla Shapango, just 19 years of age, and she finished second in that race with a time of 17.34 seconds. Vanilla, you seem shocked at the end. Oh, well, I was shocked. I didn't see myself coming second. I saw myself coming out as a third because I was waiting for Shelly and Bupilo. But I guess today was my day. Clearly, I came second. And it's my first 150 of the year and my last 150 of the year. And I'm still happy and shocked. Guys, that is what happens at the Newton Classic Shootout Park. But you never know what's going to happen. It surprises all the way. Shirley finishing 16.96 seconds. But nearly 19 and in 17.34. Well done, ladies. Pleasure, pleasure.
Back to the action on the track. The women's race is underway at the moment. The girls are in action and this is going to be an exciting one. It's going to be interesting to see how they take about this race. You can feel the atmosphere is becoming more and more electric. This is the 800 meters they passed and run about 110, 111. So let's see how they'll come back. The time we're looking for here is run about a 225. If they can maintain this pace and rhythm. So let's see. This is one of my favorite events uh, to watch and to, to run in as well. The 800 meters always exciting let's see how these girls are gonna take it out as they come through with the 300 meters to go mark you can see the athlete from foot and already making a decisive move increasing the pace over there the athlete from help makar college also pressing on where school menlu park is in the mix as well and let's see how it's gonna pan out And as they come into the last 100 meters, the athlete from Help Makar College still holding on to the front. World School Menlu Park in second. It looks like the athlete from World School Menlu Park in third is going to come through, passing the athlete from Furin two. He's going to be Help Makar College in number one, second, World School Menlu Park, third, World School Menlu Park. That is the girls' 800 meter event. athletes just finishing up in the 800 meters look at that help makar college in their numbers ready to cheer on the rest of their schoolmates fantastic uh, running there and you can see they're masked up a lot of the athletes in the mask just making sure that they stay protected during this time as well but helpies bringing on a fantastic competition this meeting hosted by help makar college the newton classic shootout powered by print event Coming up next, we've got the 600 meters. 600 meters for women as well as for men. That race will be coming up. And it's going to be exciting to see who will take it out in this one. This is going to be the 10th year, 10th year running at the 10 year anniversary of the Newton Classic Shootout. We will see the 600 meter. It started off year one in 2013. And already, can you believe it? This is the 10th year where they'll be running event number 10 at the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. Barsfontaanse Seasway Kumalu met 1,75 meter in die tweede plek help mekaar Juan Routenbach 1,80 in the first place, Leiskin Samuels van Menda Park with a scatter in the wind of 1,95 meters, 920 points on the Apsa tabel. Boys 800 meter race currently underway. Help Makar once again in the front today. It shows they're doing a lot of good work when it comes to middle distance running. And the athlete from Wear School, Menlu Park, is also in there. Help Makar College pushing currently in the front. As they approach the 500 meter mark, it'll be 300 meters to go before they reach that final. Athlete from Help Makar still pressing on in the back straight there. Very confident running from him. Running from the front is not for everybody, but he's doing so and he's grabbing the bull by the horns. He's got company, the athlete next to him from Menlu Park. Where's go Menlu Park? And in third place, the athlete from Kez also holding on for third place. Will he be able to maintain that position? Only time will tell as they approach the 150 meter mark to go. They're going to be cranking it up as they come towards the finish. The athlete from Menlu Park, as you can see now, he's 
starting to flail his arms, swinging his arms. He's trying to get this victory. But the young athlete from Help Makar has timed it to perfection. You can see he planned this one to the T. And he will grab another victory in this event, the 800 meter, in a time of 2 11 4 7 unofficially. Menlo Park, Worst School Menlo Park in second, and Help Makar taking third as well as fourth. Duke Collier and he won the men's 150 meters in a time of 15.18 seconds. Beautiful race, Duke. You brought it through. This is your house. This is where you train and you claim that victory. Yeah. How was the race? <laughs> um, the race was nice. I'm content with, um, I mean, the fans being still uh, The crowd is great, right? The atmosphere is amazing. Yeah. Did that help you through the race? Yeah, it did. I mean, running in front of a crowd after like a long year with no... Um, what's this? Spectators. Spectators, yeah. I mean, something beautiful and it raised the atmosphere of the race. That's amazing. And winning the 115, a time of 15.18, that sets you up for a great season. What is your guys' plan for the season? To dominate. To dominate, you guys heard it there. This is Duke Wale and he won the men's 150 meters at the Newsome Classic Shooter, powered by Crit over here at Eugene. Duke, we can't wait to see what you're doing for the rest of the season. You're going to dominate, like you said, and we'll be there to watch you. Well done. Okay. There was an interview with Duke Kuali, the man who recently just won the 150 meter race in a time of 15-15. Duke putting on a sensational performance, just chatting to Alyssa Conley about the race and how things went. But in this men's under 15, 800 meters, as you can see, the action is underway at the moment. Dante Rath, the man running in the colors of where's go Menlo Park and we also gave the athlete from Furendu also in the mix there. Dante Rath will come to the bell in the lead. As he comes to the bell, he, he immediately accelerates around the bend. He wants to immediately try to shake off his competitor just behind him. But the man from Furendu is holding on, he's shaking his head. But Dante Rath has made his decisive move. It looks like he's decided that it's time for him to go and he's done so very well as we get back to the back of the pace there you can see that Dante Rath has currently opened up a massive lead over his competitors over his competitors and Dante continues to just swing his arms towards the 200 meter to go mark it's still a bit early in the race but he's already made his move and has decided that he's gonna go there's no turning back now and it's done enough to shake it off will he be able to hold on to his lead will he be able to hold on to his position to grab this victory at the moment, you can see he's grinning in his face. He's pushing his arms as hard as he can. He's giving his all, coming towards the line. He's got a massive gap amongst his competitors at the moment. Will it be enough? It looks like it will be enough. Unless something drastic really happens, Dante Roth will be taking this victory for the worst goal, Menlo Park. Dante Roth, worst goal, Menlo Park in first. And in second, third and fourth, we've got Furin to Worst goal for and two in second, third, and fourth. In fourth place, fifth place going uh, to the man from the Worst Goal Menlo Park. Interviews next up, Alyssa Condi. We're out here with Bradley from Prit Prit, who is a proud sponsor of the Newton Classic Shootout. Bradley, first of all, thank you so much to yourself and Prit for sponsoring this event and for bringing the elite athletes to come showcase their talent in front of the school over here. Amazing atmosphere, right? What do you think about it? It's firstly, it's only a pleasure to be here. We are proud to be a sponsor of such an amazing event. First, I'm so proud of the athletes that we saw today. I think it's, it's amazing that we can showcase the talent that we have in South Africa and that is finally a spotlight on young athletes. So hopefully we have a few Olympians on the track today. I definitely think we have many Olympians on the track today. Bradley, you know, it's so important, you know, to have this level of development for the future South African athletes, you know, for that Olympic Games. But also amazing atmosphere. We out of COVID, we have a full grandstand. How amazing does it feel for Prit to be associated at this event? Honestly, it's amazing because as Prit, we aim to inspire. And I think today, the athletes and the fans and everyone that's here inspired us and maybe we inspired them. And for us to be associated with such an event is amazing. And I mean, we have our Mr. Pritt mascots, the kids are enjoying, they're having good fun, so no complaints, all happy. 
The kids are definitely loving the Mr. Pret mascot. And as you heard it from Brandy, Pret aims to inspire. And they have inspired us. And they have allowed us to bring the elite athletes to the Newton Classic shootout in front of these youngsters. Thank you so much, Brandy. Thank you so much, Pret. Proudly sponsoring this event. So Conley with one of the competitors who finished in the top three over there, just having a big chat about the race. And back to the women's race, we've got the girls under 15 running in the 800 meter. They're currently at the 200 meter mark. The ladies from the Uwer School Menlo Park currently in the lead in this one. Let's see if it will remain that way. First and second place currently held uh, by the Uwer School Menlo Park. Let's see if they'll be able to maintain that. But the athlete from uh, Prestige, no, from Furentu, I beg your pardon, athlete from Furentu currently also tucked in in third place. Weir School Waterkloof in third. Weir School Harsfontein currently in fifth. And as they come to the bell, this race will change tremendously. Let's see who's going to be taking it out when the bell rings. Still holding on to the front, we've got the athlete from Weir School Menlu Park. But she's got company with her on the outside of her just behind her, the young athlete from Furentu. they approach the 300 meter to go mark 500 meters it's just about who's gonna keep their composure who's gonna make the decisive move and it looks like the young athlete from the Hoover school Menlo Park has made the right move at the right time will she be able to hold on to that lead or has she gone a bit too quickly but the athlete from Furentu looks like she's falling off. Will she be able to even hold on to that second place? The thunder is currently uh, roaring. The athletes are out on the track. As you can see, the Pritt mascot over there getting ready for the 600 meter races that are coming up. But it is going to be the worst school, uh, Menlo Park, taking this one. She's got a very comfortable lead at the moment. I do not see anybody stopping her or getting in her way a very comfortable victory for the worst school menlo park winning time there two minutes 20 uh, point four four unofficially so we'll see what the official time will be when they come around but great running there two minutes 20 in that race for the victory
getting ready for the 800 meter races which are coming up shortly as you can see there the print mascot at the bottom right of your screen just waving the print mascot over there he's excited Pritt created the very first glue stick that was ever made that is fantastic by Henkel in 1969 just a bit of some history for those of you who are watching and what an amazing difference the glue stick has made in our lives but in this race these girls are gonna be looking to have nobody stick on their tail as they are running at the back straight now it is the 800 meter women's race girls race and the young men they're drinking a slash puppy almost in the race but uh, get out of the way just in time this is the 800 meter girls race under 15 under 16 the worst school Menlo Park well represented in this one And as we're coming into the last 100 me 150 meter of this race, currently in the lead, we still have the Hurskou Menlu Park in the lead. But it's going to come down to the wire. You can see the legs are getting tired. Amy van Staden also in there. In the girls, 800 meter. Amy van Staden looks like she's got a bit more gas in the legs. Will she be able to get it? The athlete from Fulent is right next to her. But Amy van Staden grabs the victory. Look at the time, 223.75. Fantastic running there from Amy van Staden to win the 800 meter race. She showed a lot of grit, she showed a lot of a power as well as precision. Uh, being patient all the way towards the finish line, getting the time. And there's the official, unofficial winning time there 223.75 uh, seconds.
All right, coming to the last 250 meter of the race as they approach their 200 meter mark, actually, you can see the young athlete from Kez currently uh, pushing the pace, but he also has company from the athlete running four forward and two. going to come down to a sprint finish who's going to have the legs when it comes to the final and it looks like the man from Furin 2 is going to have the legs he is currently just cruising to the finish line the young man from Kez just trying to maintain form and holding on for that second place but it is going to be Furin 2 first Kez in second and Furin 2 will take third EC Janssen uh, they will take uh, the fourth place in this race fantastic running unofficial winning time two minutes zero zero point five zero that's two minutes dead right there Unofficial winning time two zero zero point five zero. Another race in the girls eight hundred meter coming up athletes from Furin to want to look out for in this race but as the athlete from Kharsonteno takes the pace out at a very decent pace currently just holding on to that lead just making sure that the race will be fast and not a walking pace very good running over there and the athlete next to her from who is cool four and two uh, currently just cruising alongside of the pace at the moment is not too fast you can see that the pack is still pretty much uh, intact anybody can still win at this moment but at the moment you can see the athlete from Furinto has decided it's time to crank it up a bit more Some thunder at the moment let's see if the thunder will not get in the way but at the moment all the action is on the track 800 meter girls race currently underway let's see what will come through at, at the 400 meter mark as they receive the bell to 609 coming through in 69 seconds and then on one minute and nine seconds for the first lap let's see if she'll be able to maintain that pace and break the 220 it won't be easy unless if she really cranks it up and maintains a pace and then brings in a very solid kick as well the young athlete is no stranger to being in the front and running alone most of the time usually seen running at cga leagues as well very fantastic talent one for the future when it comes to middle distance and long distance running in the colors of foot into running barefoot with some tape on her feet a few athletes opt for running barefoot they prefer it over running in spikes and for this young lady it's working perfectly fine as she cruises over the line unofficial winning time 215.81 so she ran negative splits uh, starting with a 69 and then dropping down to close to a 66 to balance it out at 215.81 seconds unofficial winning time for the young lady from foot into high school
exciting action from the girls 800 meter races unofficial winning time there of 215.81 exciting the 600 meter races are coming up soon so we'll be getting ready to introduce them to you but stay put you don't want to go anywhere the 150 meters for men and women earlier this afternoon were electric we saw the likes of Duke Kuali running a time of 15.15 for the victory and in uh, the women's race as well, Shelly Nekubi winning that race in a time of 16.9. We're here with Mr. Klaus, who is the headmaster of Water School Help Guard College. Sir, first, Help Guard College, first of all, thank you so much, you know, for hosting the Newton Classic Shootout. It's such a privilege to be here amongst these um, young high school athletes and to showcase the elite athletes' performance. Thank you, first of all, from us, from Newton Agency and from Frit. And how do you feel, you know, about having the Newton Classic athletes compete here at your event? We had you guys here for many years now. It's always just puts a different, fantastic color to our meeting. It's always a highlight and it's just nice to have a variety of athletes, senior athletes and just people that put energy back into the sport so it's nice to have you guys here thank you so much no, thank you for having us and it's such amazing atmosphere here from help of god college you know the guys are on point they're singing at the top of their voices they're here ready to spectate and to you know shout for the athletes to the finish line it's beautiful to see i mean after covid what amazing atmosphere we have thank you um covid is challenging so there's so many knowledgeable people and apps and technology we had to use to make sure that we we don't exceed 2,000 people so it was a challenge but we made it possible and our school we have in two sessions these guys are going now back with buses and the next group of kids come in so we had to make it work because last year we didn't have the privilege to host this meeting because of COVID. Well, thank you for making that work and thank you for putting in that admin. You know, we need to keep this high energy here. We still have a lot of races coming up. We have the 600 meter coming up later, which is the Blue Ribbon event for the Newton Classic Shootout. It's the 10 year anniversary of Newton Classic Shootout. So we're hoping to put a stellar event together in the 600 meter race. Are you looking forward to it? We do. We are really, we are very anxious to have a spectacular race from you guys here. Thank you so much. Sir. No, thank you so much for having us. So we're having a bit of a break due to lightning, but we'll be back soon with action over here from Help McCard College, the Hoalika event, and the Newton Classic Shooter, Shooter Out, powered by Print. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Melissa Conley. And you can see now the athletes are having to depart from the track due to thunder and lightning uh, which is apparently too close to the proximity the tent there from world school st children also up there cloofy throats they have their gazebos up but it's uh, a health hazard at the moment so the athletes having to currently just uh, step off the track for a moment to just uh, allow the the lightning to just go away and once that happens, we will be able to commence once more with the 600 meter races as well as the other races currently taking place on the track. It's been an amazing day of athletics so far. Time now 10 to 6, very close to the time for the 600 meters. There's a bit of a delay in the beginning due to rain and the rain uh, seems to be back again for the 600 meters. But actually no rain at the moment, just more thunder and lightning. So hopefully that will wear down and then we'll get back to the track athletics. 400, 800 meter races were taking place at the moment and then uh, 600 meter race was going to slot in.
At the moment, we've got the athletes departing the track due to lightning, which is a bit too close to the proximity of UJ Stadium. So we're just going to have to wait it out a bit and uh, allow the uh, lightning to move away before we commence. So just waiting at the moment. So just bear with us, guys. We will get back to the action. The weather currently not playing along with us. But we do have high hopes that we will continue with the 600 meter races. Uh, Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. Currently hosted at uh, Help McGuire College, Hoeliga. And already we've seen so many fantastic performances. We are still at the Help McCarter College Gewelige meeting with the Newton Classic Shootout Power by Pitt and we are just waiting for the lightning sing signals to clear. There is lightning in the immediate area so we're just being safe. All the athletes have evacuated the track and they are undercover, keeping everyone safe, making sure everyone is safe and secure. So just bear with us, no action on the track right now but coming up soon we have the 600 meters for men and women in the Newton Classic Shootout Power by Pitt. September, it's going to be a good one, right? 600 meter, this is the Blue Ribbon event. Um, it's always the event that we look forward to seeing. It's been there from day one, I, I told you that. 2013, when we had our very first Newton Classic shootout, I remember I was still a young man. I was lined up in that race, finished third in it. Wow. Amazing, running against the likes of Fenzo Magawane, Chuck Deswar. You know, very fast race, it was won by Tapelo Madiba. Mm. Tapelo Madiba won the very second second ever title of the Newton uh, of the classic shootout in the 600 meters and from then on it has grown you know we added the 600 meter women's race when they now dominated for a few years and then the 150s the 60s we've seen the 300 meter races um 300 meter hurdles races uh at, at the world school men look we also saw the 300 meter uh, track races we've seen the thousand we've seen the 2000 and the event just keeps growing and growing and last year the newton classic qualifiers we saw a full meeting where different various events ran including the 5000 meter where casta Semenya ran you know just looking back at the records that have been broken national records that have been broken at these newton classic shootout events we've got the 150 meter uh, that was ran by akani simbini we've got the 300 meter which was ran by casta Semenya. we've also got um Junior records that were broken. George Kushka running 218, 
uh, in the thousand meter I was in that race as well yeah I've, I've been around um, here in 218 in that race uh, junior uh, thousand meter record with a Pato Chezo Maswangani who I don't know if these you know if, if we look at the list and if we look at the times that have been run he should have the 150 meter junior record mm -hmm. based on, on, on the times which he ran right here at this stadium against Akani Simbini and Clarence Munyai. So, it's been so many years of fantastic running. And this year, having Pritt as a sponsor, having Newton Classic Shootout hitting a 10-year anniversary is just fantastic, fantastic, fantastic news. Like you said, Timbo, we're celebrating 10 years of the Newton Classic Shootout. We've seen amazing athletes come from this Newton Classic Shootout. You know, athletes like Antoinette setting up their career in the United States of America. We know the Casta Semenya, you know, the Olympic champion for South Africa. Akane Simbini, the sprint king for South Africa. Clarence Munyai, the 300-meter sprint king. And we saw him retaining his title last week at the Newton Classic Shootout in Ramesark, running a beautiful race, being chased by Life Pillay, was very close, was very tight, but just spectacular to see that these guys are in such magnificent shape so early in the season. Yeah, absolutely. Clarence Hunyaya is the undisputed king of the 300 meter. Hasn't lost one on home soil in so many years. And I mean, we know he's also the world best. He's got the world record for juniors under 20 when it comes to the 300 meter. In that same race, Wade van Nieker broke the world record. World best, as they call it. Fantastic. Very, very, very good. And, you know, it's just a start-up. This Newton Classic shootout is a start-up for the 2022 season. We know it's a season packed with athletics events. We know we got Commonwealth champs, Africa champs, World Junior champs, World champs coming up. You know, not forgetting national champs and national trials coming up later on this year. So the guys are looking in top form. And now we're going to take the world on by storm guys we really we here to say south africa track and field is on fire and the guys are going to be breaking records left right and center absolutely currently if you're watching uh, the live stream we're just waiting for the uh, the lightning to actually just uh, move away it looks like it's getting better it is more positive at the moment so we'll see how it holds up the weather is doing well this is the 10 year anniversary of the newton classic shootout powered by Pritt. Earlier this evening, Temba, we saw the 150-meter classic shootout taking place, and we have Shirley Nikovui, 150 meters in a new record of 16.96 seconds, absolutely annihilating the previous le record of 17.44 seconds. She was surprised herself. She said last year she ran about 17.6 in the 150 meters, so she came here with one goal in mind and that was to win the 150 meter newton classic shootout and to win it in a record time of 16.96 seconds we have the young banele shabango who came second in that race very shocked as well in a time of 17.34 seconds you know she said Alyssa, i was aiming for third place but I shocked myself when I finished and crossed the finish line in second place. So she's very happy with her performance. You know, we said that she reminds, or well, I said she reminds me of Alison Felix with her long legs, you know, that beautiful running style. And she showcased a magnificent performance today in the 150 meters. Absolutely. I um, mean, the 150 meter races, they go by so fast. I'm always like yeah, out of breath and super excited when I see these races. Mm. I mean, it just reminds us of the, the, the importance and the power of sport, you know, being mm. out there, you know, the athletes having to stand in front of these amazing crowds and giving 100% their best, you know, seizing that moment and just going for gold. Speaking about that, in the men's, we had Duke coming through in a 15.81 seconds and he said, Alyssa, this is my home. This is huge. This is my home track. And I'm going to put on a show on my home track when I spoke to him down there. He said, I was the only one in the lineup without, without any accolades. But tonight, he got the accolade of being the 150-meter champion at the Newton Classic shootout powered by Pritt. That's a major one, Timba. Absolutely. I mean, these titles, they, they build on your season, you know. To, to get one of these titles is not easy. And I can say that because I ran nine years back-to-back and only on my ninth year got uh, one victory in the in the thousand meter. The wow. rest to all oh, fourth, third, fourth, 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 six, seven. It's rough. Talk you about know. perseverance, then, Mr. <laughs> Madira. <laughs> ninth time lucky is what I'm trying to tell you, uh, Conley. And the Newton Classic shootout, winning that title should mean that much to you. And the, the the beautiful thing about it is that the athletes 
who tend to do very well in this competition go out and they have fantastic seasons mm, definitely and we can see coming up later in the 600 meters for women we have an amazing lineup as well fina dume dube simone vates wenda now come on now two-time olympian for south africa over there one yep. times africa medal champion winner timba this girl is a force to be reckoned with and it's her last year it's her court curtain call yeah, and she wants to redeem the 600 meter at the Newton Classic shootout. We also have Lenta Peterse, Tepang Selo, Marijke Ritz, and Michelle Fisser. That's going to be a fire lineup to look out for later on in the 600 meters for women. And for the men, we have Inman Duplessis, yes, James Selinger. The men's race is going to be a humdinger. I know you want to say all of these names, but let me take this one. 600 meter race, we've got Edmund Duplessis running in the colors of Tux. He's a phenomenal 800-meter uh, runner. He's 147. He's been struggling with injuries over the past uh, season and a half, but he looks like he's back and healthy again. We've got the likes of James Siliger also in this one. Joel Siminia, the champion from 2021. He won last year in a time of 116.33. He's in there. Let's not forget about Ashley Tsungwan, a.k.a. Ash Bash. Killer Cash, he's in this race as well, and he's going to be looking to get a title. Rante Dihale in the field, he's got the most titles, he's got the most experience when it comes to the 600 meter race. He's ran a couple of these, um, and he'll be looking to get that victory. Let's not forget about Zagiri Nene, Zagiri Nene, all the way from KZN running for fast feet. He made his way down, he flew all the way down here to run in the 600 meter because he knows exactly what it does for his season. So he'll be geared up and ready for this one. Look at the likes of Kabilo Muslosi, who is also the man from Royal uh, Bafu Gang. He's also getting warmed up and ready for this race. Let's see what he will be able to do. He's also won a title in the past, so he's going to be looking to add uh, to that. And in the hundred and in, in the final lane, in lane number eight, we got Buikanyo Muslame. Buikanyo Muslame is also running in the 600 meter. And then don't forget about Rory Sang Sihate as well as Romeo Fanve. So that is the 600 meter lineup for you. As you can see, we're super ready. We are geared up and ready to go, and it's gonna be fantastic. So don't miss out if you're watching on the live stream, guys. We're not done yet. We're just waiting for the lightning to pass. Once that has passed, then we're gonna get into the action again. Conley. Definitely, Timba, a lot of action coming up. We're just waiting for this weather to calm down, lightning to pass. I think it's just giving the 600 meter athletes, you know, some time to prepare. <laughs> Some time to mentally and physically get themselves ready for a fire race. Like we said, it is our Blue Ribbon event. This is the event that started the Newton Classic Shootout 10 years ago. Oh my goodness. A whole decade ago. And tonight, we want to celebrate in style. And we have a fire lineup just to do that. This is the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. Big shout out to Help Makar College, uh, the whole school allowing us here in this competition allowing us to be able to use this amazing competition to have the south african athletes some international athletes we've seen just like in the previous race where we've got linda kloster uh, who ran at the world school Randberg meeting uh, the newton classic shootout there from norway imagine mm. people from norway all the way from, norway. from cameroon mm. we've got some international people flying from all over the country surely Nekubui flying all the way from the Eastern Cape, landed yesterday, and she said, listen, I want to run. And you can see in the back street there, the athletes are slowly starting to get warmed up again. It looks like the lightning has disappeared. There's currently no rain. Athletes just trying to keep warm and get ready for the race. Uh, they don't want to fall behind. Immediately when we get back to the action, these athletes will be uh, firing away. That's Lenta Peterson in your picture over there. She's looking ready. Mariki also in the mix there, getting warmed up. Let's see what these ladies will display just getting warmed up and ready for the race, Alyssa. Definitely the ladies are ready. They are fired up. Seems like the weather is clearing. We see Zakiti Nene over there, a youngster who specializes in the 400 meters, but he's here to see what he can do in the 600 meters. Team. But he wants to give these guys a run for their money. You know, I spoke to Zagiti before coming down. He was like, Tim, I don't know. Should I run the 300 or the 600? I'm like, Zagiti. If you want to run the three, do it, but you know what the 600 meter has done. 600 meter got you to run 45.03 seconds. It mm -hmm. builds that base. It gives you that endurance, that strength, that speed, and the power, you know, to get through the 400 meters. And he said, bro, you're right. And that's why you can see he's back at the moment to run in the 600 meters. He opted out of the 300. 
wise move, a little bit of advice. No, these are my, these are my fellas. I hope that's the <laughs> right advice you gave him there. 600 is 200 longer than his speciality event, but it will definitely build that speed endurance and also strength endurance and that massive base for the season. And it's a very, very long season. And I think if we focus on the longer distances, it takes less pressure off of, you know, our main muscles and our major muscles like our hamstrings. And it just allows us to keep our body safe and healthy in terms of niggles. So I think very, very good advice there, Timber. Absolutely. Uh, ten years of <laughs> classic shootouts. Ten it years of experience, guys. Timber is a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> a veteran, you say. <laughs> but this year would have been my tenth out of ten years, back to back, not missing a single race. It's not too late, Timber. It's Ish. not too late. You, you can still go and warm up down there. Ish. It's tough. Uh, I would have been out there. Um, but I mean, it's a beautiful race. Mm. I finished off with a 116 last year. That's what the guys are going to be running this year let's see if they'll go faster mm -hmm. if we can see a 115 tonight it will be such a treat 115 sets you up for uh, for the 600 meter runners for the 400 meter runners it sets you up for sub 45 mm. for the 800 meter runners it sets you up for a sub 47 sub 46 so this race just gives you an indication of exactly where you are before the season fully opens up so that's what the athletes use these races for. Most of them will be opening, running the very first race of the year at this competition. And it's going to be a cracker. Well, the stage is set thanks to Help Makar College for allowing the Newton Catholic Classic Shootout to be run at the Gawaliga event. So the stage is definitely set for our athletes over here at the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. All that they have to do is focus on their warm-ups, focus on their drills, and come ready and prepared to the starting line. We're just waiting for the weather, you know, for the lightning to disappear. And then our athletes are going to bring fire to the track. Beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. There's no wind. I think that is the blessing yeah. in the skies over here. Absolutely. No wind. The weather is actually perfect now. Once the, we get the go-ahead and the lightning is cleared, we'll be able to get these athletes back on the track, firing in all cylinders. We also have the likes of Tabo Mulete. He's out here also on the track doing the on-field announcements. You know how exciting he is. Tabo Mulete always bringing uh, the fire and excitement. Oh, talking about the man, there he is. Tabo Mulete. Tabo you Mulete. Join us and just uh, give us Some a bit of uh, insight on what you heard and uh, witnessed today on uh, the track, Mr. Mulete. So this is the man all the way from Pekka. He's here to just share his knowledge and give his insight on how things went today. Mr. Mulete. What did you see today? How do you feel about uh, the 150s you saw? We're still at the 600s coming up, which is going to be super exciting. Well, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Tembo. It's <laughs> almost a whole CV that you're reading out there. <laughs> uh, well, uh, my name is Tabo Mulete, and uh, wow, the sparks have been fl uh, flying early on. Uh, Pritt is bringing us uh, the explosive stuff here at the uh, Newton Classic Shootout, the 10th year in running. And boy, oh boy, 150 meters. I thought that race was going to be between Benjamin mm. and uh, Kuali, but uh, yeah. they were basically side to side, but with 40 meters to go, Kuali just unleash the beast just change the gears yes next level he didn't even click through the gears he just went <laughs> see you again later you know the part that i enjoyed the most tower was when he was just saying this is my home wow i, could, I was reading lips my home so he trains here this is his home ground and i mean that's what we want to see tower that excitement that passion that pure you know love for this uh, sport uh, that's that's what makes the athletes and people even watching you enjoy things so much you speak about um, pride at uh, the northwest university we speak about the purple pride but that was just the orange pride from uh, UJ University in uh, the form of Duke Kuali. Well, he's a finalist in the ASA Senior Track and Field Championships. Um, he was in that final when uh, Connie, well, the semi final. Yeah, yeah. You remember Connie? Yeah, of course. Right going right just the wind. <laughs> 9.82. Goodness me. Fantastic stuff. And coming up, we've also got the 600 meter races. Uh, they are lined up and uh, just waiting for the lightning to clear. And then we'll have that action. We've got the likes of Zagiti Nene. He is the SA 400 meter man to watch now. Running a 45.05 right on this track at the USA Championships. You know what? It's going to be a lovely matchup because 
He's a 400 meter runner. Absolutely. He's going to be up against Mutlosi. Oh. 2019 uh, um, 800 meter champ. Uh huh. By surprise, he wasn't even counted to be one of the, <laughs> the winners. But by surprise, he took that one. So, 400 meter specialist, the South African title holder so far, yeah. versus the former 800 meter title holder. Mm. So that's going to be a cracker. It's going to be a humdinger, mm. if they, as they call it. Zagiti Nene, 400 meter specialist. Kabilo Mutlosi, 800 meter mm. specialist. Ranti Di Khale. Ranti Di Khale. How about uh, um, Joel Semenya? Semenya also Simenia featured in that final. Absolutely, Semenya winning the title obviously in 2021 20, last year with a time of 16.33. Don't throw away Luan. How can I do that? Don't <laughs> throw him away because he, <laughs> he was part of the 4x4 on media relay champs. So don't throw that man away. Semenya also one of the big threats in this race. You can see him in picture there with the dreads on the left. Uh, he's going to be looking to feature, and he has the youngster, a youngster from uh, KZN running for fast feet. She goes by the name of uh, Salma Bejia. Yeah, she's also in this race. Uh, big, big, big moment for her. Fifteen you know, years of age. Fifteen years of age. <laughs> That's impressive. Coming to run against a pack of wolves. Ah, when Danel. Fina Dube. One hundred meters. Eh, Dube Dube. It's going to be a beautiful one. Mariki Rice, of course, is also in the house up-and-coming star um don't forget so many fates so many you can't throw away but wait there's a queen from lesotho mm. she runs in the colors of courses boy can she run she's a, an olympian herself as well absolutely and like i said the fields that we bring at these newton classic shootout power by pret are the best of the best it's world class it's the best athletes from all over South Africa and international athletes and that's what's beautiful to watch and to witness about this race you know what I was so jealous last week you guys had in the men's 300 meters yeah. well it's an unfair advantage for Cla uh, Clarence Munyai but we had the <laughs> South African 200 meter record holder versus the South African 100 meter record holder <laughs> but it was the young man I saw those videos when live belay 400 meter specialist Boy, he just, it looked like gift. Uh, Clarence was gone. He was mm. out of it. Yeah. But he just railed him in like, uh, uh come here, when I, and he fell on the line. It was <laughs> impressive. Close race in that one. And as you can see in picture, there, the Palaburu Express, the no. man from Limpopo. He goes by the name of Ranti Dihale. Fantastic runner. So versatile. He's quick on the sprints. Very good endurance. I mean, when it comes to the 4 by 400 meter relay for South Africa, when he's got the baton in hand, I trust mm. him the most because mm. you know he's going to empty that tank. Almost like the anchor man, Akani. Those anchors in, uh, in the relays. Our, we've got fantastic relays. South Africa actually has um, so many quality athletes. The 100 meters, boy. Uh. How many guys do we have now, sub 10? Six. six, a total of six, and I believe by the end of the season we'll have another two that will be joining in that club. Please As you can see in picture, there's James Siliger, uh, the Please younger brother me. of John Siliger, if you remember him, 400 meter uh, sensation as well. Indeed. So he uh, is also in this one. He's looking to build his own name in this uh, event. And let's see how he does in the 600 meter. And there's the man uh, who won in uh, 2021, Joel Simenia, running in the colors of Maasai, Edmund Duplessis. Also there in the mix, uh, the man running for Tax Athletics Club. He's got a 147 in his legs. Struggled with a lot of injuries in 2020 and 2021, but he's back. And we hope to see him back again. We want to see him run that 146 mark and make uh, that big uh, step up in the 800 meter world. So now 600 meters. 600 meters is a different monster altogether. It is almost... 800 meters but it is Alyssa come in here with me I, I, I just want you to take me through the 600 meters is actually more brutal than the 800 meters 800 meters you can save a bit in the tank mm. but the 6 6 is like a full sprint you know I don't know how these guys pace themselves because we know the one lap 400 
is the brutal sprint of them all. And 800 has even become a sprint now. It's become a two-lap sprint. That's insane. So you can imagine where the 600 meters sit, you know, when you hit that last 200 meters, you know, the legs are feeling heavy, lactic acids hit mm. you, but you mm. have to have that last gear to get into, you know, just to take you across the line. And the lineup over here tonight at the Newton Classic Shootout Massive. is so phenomenal. Massive. You know, there's no space for pacing easy. The guys are going to go out hard from the they, start. They're going to choke slam each other. I, I think uh, Semenya is going to go up for the spark of Muklozi, mm-hmm. the scalp of Muklozi. Mm. But um, Nene, boy. Boy, boy, oh boy. It's an open race for Nene mm. over there. No pressure for him. He's no. a 400 meter Nothing specialist. Nothing to lose in that you one. Know? Great 400 meter specialist. And he's coming, you know, so calmly, um, cool and collected into the 600 meter just to test his, his endurance over there, his just ability. to test his ability. Um, you know, just to build that base for the rest of the season, which is going to be interesting to see what he can do against Semenya. Well, Joel Semenya has been letting a few heads roll. Mm. Uh, I think they, um, they're going to be mindful of him, although he's not uh, the absolute favorite, but mm. they're going to be mindful of him because if they're not going to watch out for him, he's the SA Junior champ, yeah. he might as well take on the big guns he's definitely maybe not the favorite tonight but he is a champion yeah, and well, he's a junior coming to take on the big guns over right. here in his right and Semenya wants to obviously retain his title especially being the 10 year anniversary of the Newton oh Classic boy. shootout in the 600 meters we see him there in the colors of the Maasai AC club obviously with the Casta oh, Semenya logo the, the signature the signature but how Explosive is this league here hosted by um, Sam Track, uh, oh, uh, Help Help McCarr, College, rather, yeah. and um, powered or well, rather, backtrack being tracked back to the athletes. There is the man in mm. picture, um, Zach Nene, 400 meter specialist. So, this atmosphere, how has it been for you? For me, it has been absolutely electric. It's my first time at the Newton Classic shootout, and can I tell you? I am just going bonkers. It's been absolutely amazing, amazing, Tabo. You know, obviously, we haven't had a full capacity um, stadium, obviously, uh, cooperating with the COVID regulations. Only 2,000 people allowed in the stadium, so we've been sticking to that rules. But just to have a crowd again, you know, for these athletes to be cheered on, for these athletes to be supported, for these athletes to be motivated, I think it gives that extra oomph. And that's why we've been seeing some really, really fast times on the track. Already in the 150 meters, 15.18, we spoke about this earlier. That is very fast. The man of the house, Duke There we go. He's setting the scene there. He told me down there, he... He could have gone faster, but he's got a bit of a hamstring niggle that is nursing in the race. So he came out here with a hamstring niggle, nursing his hamstring niggle, but still putting on a time of 15.18. That's impressive. So early in the season, Mm. it's really, really impressive. Definitely. And then we have the ladies over there. Um, Breaking the record, hey? 16.96 seconds. We have our blistering fast all the way from Eastern Cape, Shirley Nukavui. Well, well she, she was a surprise for me. Mm. I, I really thought the youngster who lined up in the... Um, And welcome to Wurzko Randberg Prestige Bay Incomes, where we are hosting the Newton Classic Shootout 10 year anniversary powered by Pritt. What a beautiful and exciting day it is to see our champions battling out on the track. Teba, what do you have in store for us? We've got such an amazing program in store today, Zander, and I'm excited. It is the Newton Classic Shootout powered by this is the 10th anniversary as you can see the athletes getting ready to be welcomed and in the blocks you can see in, in lane number one we've got Kutsu Rosaka in lane number two Sia Nyati in lane number three Rivaldo Roberts in lane number four Tembu Munareng in lane number five Theodore Young in lane number six Nicholas Ferns in lane number seven Ethan Noble and in lane number eight Tepo Tiatini
And we're off Rasaka explodes out of the blocks. Ethan Noble, Tembo Munareng, Rivaldo Robertson, the Nicholas Ferns, Theodore, Rasaka. Rasaka's gonna take this one. He blows the field out of the water. Nobody expected this one. Rasaka, what a fantastic. And you can see the kids from Wurzko Randberg celebrating the victory with him. Everybody's excited and you can see how much it means for him. In first place, Kuto Rasaka with a time of 6.62. In second place, Tembo Munareng with a time of 6.72. In third place, Rivaldo Roberts with a time of 6.73. It's such a close one from second all the way to fourth. But first place, there was only one man, Kuto Risaka. Let's hear what he has to say. Because this is my first 60. It's been a while without running this fast. So I just came here as coach to, uh, told me that just go have fun. Don't, don't, don't even put pressure on yourself. Just go have fun. That's exactly what I did. And welcome to Wurzko Randberg Prestige Bay Incomes, where we are hosting the Newton Classic Shootout 10 year anniversary powered by Prit. What a beautiful and exciting day it is to see our champions battling it out on the track. Teba, what do you have in store for us? We've got such an amazing program in store. This is an amazing meet. You can see the school kids already out there warming the track up for the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Prit. This is the 10th anniversary and you can see it's going to be as spectacular. In lane number one from BAC, we've got Renate Mare. In lane number two, Emil Rotman from NWU. In lane number three from Tax, we've got Boipelo Chemese. In lane number four, also from Tax, Rose Clay. In lane number six, we've got Marzan Lutz running in the colors of Tax. And in lane number eight, Nosipo Malinga in TUT. And we're off with a clean start. Boy Pelleche Mesa, Rosley pushing. Malinga on the outside, but Marzal Lewis is pushing. Boy Pelleche Mesa is going to take this one. Boy Pelleche Mesa. Nobody's going to stop her. She takes it. An amazing victory for her. You could see the determination in the way she ran. Marzal Lewis was pressing her, but these are your top finishers. In first place, Boy Pelleche Mesa with a time of 7.34. In second place, Marzan Lewis in the time of 7.46. And in third place, Rose Clay with a time of 7.59. That's your top three. And we've also got 7.63 from Nosipo Malinga. Toinette Murray with a time of 7.72. And Amir Rotman wrapping it up with a time of 7.76 seconds. I learned from my previous mistake that after a false start, you just need to... Eight hundred meter races, which will kick off uh, first. Uh, once we've got one or two or three, I think it's, it should be around about four races on the eight hundred meters, and then it's going to be time for that uh, six hundred meters. Look at him, the Palawuru Express, Ranti Dehali, currently uh, getting ready, and you can see the athletes are on the track now uh, for the eight hundred meters. We are back alive. Conley, I'm excited. We showed a bit of the 60 meter races. Kutsa Rasaka doing well in that one. That was just a highlight race as well as a 60 meter for women. We saw some highlights uh, from those races. Awesome stuff, awesome memories from the previous event which was held at the World School uh, Randberg. Uh, the prestige of the Incomes meeting that they had last week, powered by Prit at the New Ten Classic Shootout. And there's the man Zagiti Nene. Uh, just getting warmed up and ready in the New Balance colors. Uh, looks like he's got a new sponsor, which is great to see. You know, the athletes work hard and to get endorsements and to sign deals with these uh, new brands is just part of the beauty of it. And the athletes are just getting ready and wound up uh, for the 600 meters. The show must go on, Elisa. The show must go on. Definitely, the show must go on. And we're at the UJ Stadium in Oakland Park event hosted by Help McCard College. It's the Newton Classic Shootout Power by Pritt. Ten year anniversary. It's going to be fires. We're waiting for that 600 meters show. Timber, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be a show, absolutely. But first, 800 meters are on the track. Let's see how the boys will fare out in this one. 
it's gonna be an exciting one and let's see how it's gonna go the lights are on in the stadium we have approached the evening session 626 currently in uh, uj west dean where we are running at uj athletics club super ready for this one Alyssa, you're still doing some last minute research there but once that gun goes off uh, for the 600 meter it's gonna be mouth watering believe you me definitely we are so excited but before we get there we have the boys running the 800 meter team but this is your speciality event this is your bread and water your milk your tea your coffee this is your food this is what you do what is your strategy going into the 800 meter uh, maybe, maybe maybe many would say timber your strategy was not the best uh, you go out way too hard uh, but for me i always had this mentality of you know i want to run at the the world-class pace and uh, I, I, I always try to run what the internationals are running you know coming through hard making the race exciting you know i, I was always more thrilled by winning at a fast time and uh, then losing or, or, or losing with a very fast time than winning with a slow time that was my mentality and maybe it wasn't right uh, but it, it sure made for many exciting races i've been in races where 144s were run when, when Tepo Tite and currently the lane draw we've got Michelle Fisser uh, for the women's 600 meter we've got Mariki Reitz uh, we've got uh, in lane number three Sapang Silo Lente Peterson in number four in number five we've got Salma Harris in lane number six we've got Wenda Nell Simone Vates in number seven and Fina Duve in eight that is the women's 600 meter a lane draw and that race is going to be coming up to you soon we'll be doing an introduction of them uh, in a short bit but first the 800 meter race is currently underway. Help Makar College and Waterkloof. Where's go Waterkloof currently pushing the pace in sec in third place? We've got the athlete uh, in the colours of Harsfontein uh, currently uh, pushing this one. Let's see who's gonna be the one who's gonna make it count the most in this race. And at the moment, as they pass the 250 meter mark, it's still very well poised here. Uh, currently looking very good in this one. We've got the two athletes from Helmakar as well as Wurzko Vaterglöf. Harsvantin sitting very tight in third, but the pace is fast. You can see he's uh, barely holding on, but he's going to try his best to do so. They come to the bell, and it's still those two athletes in the front. The athlete from Helmakar College is still in front. Uh, next to him, he's got the athlete from Vaterglöf. Let's see how this one will uh, pan out as they approach the 300 meter to go mark Alyssa Conley it's gonna be a fast one you can see that these guys are trying to make it fast they're running for times rather than just uh, trying to pitch up and just win the race who will take this one they're pressing each other all the way with 200 meter to go at the moment the athlete from help Makar college currently still in the lead and he's made a big surge you can see he's swinging his arms he's swinging his arms out of his chest He's lifting his knees and he's not going to be stopped. Oh, will the man from Vatorkulov respond and be able to reel him in? But at the moment, it doesn't look like it is going to be Hulk Makar College uh, taking the victory here. His school is going bananas as they see him uh, powering all the way to the finish line. Let's look at the time. What time will he be running? He's going to be looking to run a decent time in this one. And he wins in a time of 155.5 five six unofficially so he'll be excited with that second place going to water Club, third place going to cares fourth also to water Club. and what a great race that was 155.56 unofficial winning time in the boys 800 meter but here we've got the lineup for the ladies it is the 600 meter ladies race are coming up next and what a lineup we have waiting for you you're gonna be blown away the ladies are here they're ready for action and it's gonna be a super quick one in the ladies race and here comes the introduction to the 600 meter women's race we've got a fantastic one coming up in lane in the inside lane there we've got michelle uh, Fisser, who's going to be running this one she is 19 years old a young up-and-coming 800 and 400 meter athlete fourth at agent champs 200 meter 2020 800 meter athlete ladies and gentlemen mariki rates is up next mariki rates is a 600 is running the 600 meter 24 years old 2020 newton classic shootout participant a very fast provincial athlete but the athlete from lesotho in your picture there goes by Tsepang Sello. one to look out for an olympian she is lesotho's finest and she's gonna be shining lento peters uh, running for pekka also in this lineup a very fast athlete bronze medalist at the sa championships and 
next up we got Fina Dube, the youngster as well, 22 years old, making her comeback in the Newton Classic shootout. She's going to see how fast she's going to attack uh, this race. And, ladies and gentlemen, a name that needs so much introduction. She does deserve it. She's a nine-time SA 400-meter hurdles champion. She is one of SA's uh, best 400-meter hurdlers. And she's currently in this race. She goes by the name of Wenda Nell. And on the outside, we've got the youngster from... Uh, KZN. She goes by the name of Salma Herith. She is a 800 meter runner as well as 1500 meter runner. Let's see how she will fare in this one. Fina Dube currently just waving at the crowd at the moment. And the ladies all come together for the team photo. Before we get this 600 meter race kicked off and underway, it's going to be a beautiful one, Alyssa. What do you think we've got in store for us? It's going to be an absolutely beautiful one. I spoke to Wenda earlier and she said she's not missing a race this year. She's ready for it. She said it's going to be a hard one. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a tough one. Double the distance she ran last week when she raced in the 300 meters. But she's ready to pull it out of the hat and she's ready to kill this race. Next up, we've got the men's race coming up. As you can see, the men have lined up. We've got a stellar field in this one. The men will be going out for a very fast time. We can look if we can get a time of 115, it will be sensational. And there they are in front of us at the moment, lined up. It's a packed field as well, which is very exciting to see. We want to see the fields packed. We want to see the best of the best lined up, going shoulder to shoulder, head to head against each other. So we'll bring you that men's lineup uh, shortly. But first, Help Makar, as you can see, Help Makar College taking the victory in the girls' 800 meter race. A very uh, commanding victory from her. Help Makar also taking second and in third place. We've got Harsfontein, Hoer School Harsfontein, finishing in third place. Help Makar, ladies, winning that 800 meter comfortably in a time of 2 minutes 13 seconds and 81 split seconds. Beautiful victory for her over there. Very comfortable from the start of the race right through to the end very tactical race that she ran and supported by her teammate and a scholar this is the newton classic shootout powered by pret we are at the uh, at the help makar college Hoeliga event and we they are the whole school allowing us to be with them here partnering with us uh, towards bringing this amazing event which sees some of the top schools in the country competing as well as the top athletes from South Africa competing. Just after this race is competed, we're going to get to the men's uh, lineup in the six, uh, 600 meters and it's a fantastic lineup that we have indeed. Who's going to win this one? What will be the winning time? I predict a 116 a super low for the victory unless if they make it super fast, Nene, maybe we can push it into a 115. Who knows? Maybe we can see that record uh, dropping uh, this year. Reynard van Rensburg running a time of 115.58. I know Randy De Gale is always looking to break that record. But once we've got the 800 meters underway, we will bring you the lineup for the 600 meter men's race for the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Print. It's a power lineup. Power, power lineup. The guys are ready. They want to take on the track. They've been here at the Newton Classic Shootout. They've been warming up. They've been getting their stride in and they're ready to put on a show. But before that, we're going to watch the boys under 17, 800 meter on the track. Timba, do you remember when you were 17 years old? Were you also racing 800 or did you try your luck in the 200? I know. Back then, I was just running the 400 meters. And let's see how this race will go. And they're all for clean start in the boys for an 800 meter race and here comes the lineup for the men's 600 meters ladies and gentlemen this is the newton classic shootout event it's a big race in lane number one we've got the man known as edmund duplessis running in the colors of tux a phenomenal 800 meter runner and the current champion the reigning champion from 2021 joe suminya he is currently holding the fort and holding the title he won in 2021 he is uh joe suminya and in your picture there was james siliga the 600 meter athlete who's going to be running as well in this one he's got a 118 in this event and he's going to be looking to go faster ashley Tungwane recently competed for sa at world championships for relays he is a fantastic runner one time 
uh, all Africa silver medalist and the man recently back from the Olympic Games Ranti Dihale he's one to look out for in this race has won many titles before and uh, next up we've got Zagiti Nene the SA champion he ran a 45.053 second recently back from the Olympic Games as well one to look out for in this amazing 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 race and don't forget Gabriel Muthosi, that is your 2019 SA champion in the 800 meter. He's won the title many times as well for the 600 meter and he's up next. And, next, and this in the line over here we've got Mashome, Buikanyo Mashome running in the colors of UJ. And over here we've got the youngster who goes by the name of Rory Sang in this race as well as Rory Sang Sikhatle, the 600 meter athlete, 21 years old, running for AGN. He's also lined up and ready for this one. Ready for the lineup. Let's see who's going to be the one who to take it. Romeo van Veek is also in there, the 20 year old Western Province athlete, under 18, 400 meter champion. He's got a PB of 47.87, uh, 84 in this race. Let's see what Romeo will be able to do against SA's top 400 meter and 800 meter runners. It's going to be a humding of a race. This is the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. And we've got an amazing race in store for us. We see a combination there of 800 meter specialists as well as 400 meter specialists coming together to race in the 600 meter. It's a question of will the endurance win or will the speed win? Temba, what do you think? definitely believe that it's a combination of both the 800 meter athletes Alyssa over the years have proved that the 800 meter athletes generally go out and win this race so it's up to the 400 meter uh, athletes to change this up you know at the moment the, the the history books say that the 800 meter athletes are much stronger on a 600 than the 400 meter athletes let's see if the things will change in a 2022 i think it's definitely going to be interesting and having the likes of zakiti nene in that race he's ready for them and he's a 400 meter specialist so let's see how he tackles the 600 meter will he guard hard or will he come and finish hard that is the question there's your women's lineup with the lane draws there. That's for the men's race. Edmund Duplessis in lane one. We've got James Siliga, Joel Sivinia, Ashley Tungwane, Randy Dikhale, Zagiti Nene, Kabilo Mutlosi, Boikanyo Mutlame uh, in uh, eight. And in the women's race, Michelle Fissa, Mariki Reitz, Tsepang Sillo, Lenta Peterson, Salma uh, Beji. We've also got Wenda Nell, Simone Vates, as well as Afina Dube uh, getting ready for this one. And you can see the ladies in picture over there just uh, going over their last strides. Wenda Nell will be one of the favorites for this one. And in lane number nine, we've got Rory Sang Sihatle for the men. And ten, Romeo Van Vek. Let's not forget the youngster who is uh, SA under 18. Top runner in the 400 meters. So let's see how he will uh, go against uh, these uh, pack of hyenas. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. This is the 10 year anniversary of this amazing event and we are getting ready to get the 600 meter women's race underway. They're huddling up together at the moment. It's the last bit of talking, the last bit of smile that they'll give to each other. When that gun goes off, it's back to war and it's going to be a matter of who will get to that line first. Alyssa. It's all about who wants it more, Timba. It's all about who has that final kick in the end. We know it's going to be a fast race and it's going to be a tough race. All of these ladies want it. All of them are of high quality athletes. And it, it is again 400 meeting the 800 meters. Who is going to win in the females? We know Wenda Nell is a 400 meter hurdle specialist. But we also see Simone Vates there who prefers the 800 meter. Fina Dube over there also prefers the longer distances. But who? is going to come out champion in the 600 meter women's newton classic shootout it looks like uh, simone vates is actually not in this race um, that's a big surprise uh, she was uh, geared up and ready for this one and she coming back from the thousand meter title uh, she was definitely one of the favorites for this race uh, so we are almost ready for the women's 600 meters they are lined up and ready it's just a matter of go time and we're gonna take it from there and the young fissa in the inside lane on her outside we've got mariki 
she's in there rates Sata Bangsillo also in the mix Lenta Petersa Salma is in there as well Wenda Nell the seasoned campaigner Fina Dube eight ladies in this race let's see who's going to be the one who takes this title home it's definitely going to be an exciting race as the ladies get ready on their marks they are about to be set off And it's a and clean start, away. Emma. Immediately, when the nail pushes the pace, Fina Dube in that uh, goldy, uh, silver uh, locks of hers immediately also moves to the front. We've got Salma, the young athlete from Fast Feet, also pushing. But when the nail and Fina Dube are currently looking the most comfortable as they cut in by the cones at the moment. We've got Rates sitting in the inside. Fina Dube currently looking steady. When the nail still very poised at the moment, Alyssa. Very poised over there. Wendan Allen is an expert at the 600 meters. She also runs a very good 400 meters as they cross the line, their first 200 meters. They're going for that final lap. It's going to be a fast 400 meters. They're on 37 seconds as they approach the last 300 meters. That is a blistering fast start. And we see over there in the lead, Timba. It's Areke Reitz currently in the lead, pushing the pace with the 250 meters to go. Fina Dube also just next to her. We've got Wenda Nell also pushing the pace. And as you look at the back straight camera there, Wenda Nell trying to make a move now. Marike Reitz is also in there and she's trying to hold on to that line. Fina Dube currently also in the mix. Will Wenda Nell be able to power her way through? Is she waiting for that final kick? At the moment, Marike Reitz is holding on to it. She sees the glory. She does not want to let this go, but Wenda Nell is making a, a, a move on the outside. Here comes Wenda Nell. Wenda Nell currently coming around the bend in the lead. Will she have enough to go? Lenta Peterson also on the other side of Wenda Nell to China putting put in a kick. But will she be able to hold on? The young Salma also in there. Wenda Nell. Salma from Fast Feet. Oh my goodness. Wenda Nell is going to be the youngster. Or will it be Wenda Nell? It's going to be on the line. And oh my goodness. It's the youngster from Fast Feet taking that victory in a time of 130.74. What a beautiful, beautiful finish there. It was Wenda now against Salma all the way to the end in the last 50 meters, shoulder to shoulder, giving it their all. You could see the grit in their face. You could see the passion in their face. You could see the want and the hunger to win in their face. And it seems like at the photo finish, it was that final dip that we spoke about, Timba, from the young athlete from Fast Feet, Salma. Alyssa, I'm a bit stunned. I did not expect that at all. I did. I, I thought someone was doing very well, mm. but for her to come out here and, and, and win this race? Well, that's what happens at the Newton Classic Shootout, Timba. You know, we discover new athletes, we discover fast athletes, and that is what Salma did tonight. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Next up, we've got the men's 600 meter race. If the women's race is anything to go by, this is going to be nothing short of exciting. We've got the likes of Zagiti Nene in here. In the inside, we've got Edmund Duplessis, James Siliga in two with uh, Joel Semenya. We've got uh, Mutlame in lane number three, Ashley Tungwane in four, running in the colors of Masai, Randy Dihale in uh, lane number five in the colors of of, uh, of Masai. We also have Zagiti Nene in there in the fast feet uh, colors looking very good. Kabila Mutlosi, he's uh, alongside Sikhotle uh, currently in lane number seven and the man in the outside lane, he's Van Veik, the youngster who is a 400 meter specialist. We are ready to go. And we're off the men's 600 meter race. This is going to be the closing race for the Newton Classic Shooter. Let's see how they're going to take this race out immediately. Ronte Dejale making it uh, his move and his intention known. He moves immediately to the front, but he's also got Edmund Duplessis in the inside lane who is currently pushing Ronte Dejale, the man who's going to be driving the pace at the moment. They'll be watching out for him because they know how dangerous he is. Edmund Duplessis currently holding on to the inner lane as they come to the bell. It's Ronte Dejale who moves to the front. He's had enough. He's not going to wait for anybody. He's this Decided he's going to control the pace from the front. Edmund Duplessis currently in second. James Siliga sitting in third. We've got Zagiti Nene in fourth with Mutlame next to him. Van Veik also in there in the mix. Look out for Joel Semenya. He usually comes from way back deep in the back. And he usually makes a very, very fast move. We've got uh, Siliga still holding on. Rante Dijale. Edmund Duplessis is grinning at the moment. Dijale still holding the line. It's going to be Dijale and uh, Siliga currently pushing it. Siliga is making a move. It looks like it's going to be Edmund Duplessis. But look out on the outside. Mutlame is also in there in the colors of UJ. But here comes Zagiti Nene, the man from Fast Feet, also in there. It's going to be a sprint to the line. Zagiti Nene moving out to the outside. Rante Dijale holding the line. Edmund Duplessis swinging his arms. Edmund Duplessis going for the race. It's going to be Joseph Inyan. Edmund Duplessis, Edmund Duplessis is back, ladies and gentlemen. He takes the victory, winning time 116.92.
Oh my goodness, Edmund Duplessis, Alyssa, I did not expect that. What a race, well timed. He took it on the line and they could not stop him. Timber. What an exciting night this evening. The 600 meter blue ribbon race did not disappoint from a woman and a man's point of view. Edmund Duplessis crossing the line in 160.92. It was a fight to the finish. It was a sprint to the finish. We saw the group of guys bunching up there, at least six of them sprinting to the finish. And Edmund Duplessis came, on, came out on top in a time of 116.92. Such an exhilarating race. Such a fantastic time. Sagitinene in picture there is a bit stunned and a bit disappointed you can see he didn't expect it but the man of the moment at the moment is Edmund Duplessis he stole it away from all the big names I told you he had struggled with many injuries but the boy is back and is looking healthy well done to Edmund Duplessis the blue ribbon event 600 meter always a special one to watch and look at what he has done he has taken the title away from all the big man Elisa Conley and that's what the shootout is about the element of surprise and just stunning the field no matter what 100% timber amazing amazing results in the 600 meter shootout for both men and women for the women we have Selma winning it there from fast feet all the way from the, the club in Durban in a time of 130.73 it was so close to Enda Nell in a time of 130.76 Amazing, and we have amazing, the men's amazing, results amazing. over there, Timba. Give us the times. The winning time for the men's race, uh, the official winning time is 116.90. That was run by Edmund Duplessis in second place, 117.13. And in third place, 117.21. That is the top three fastest times. But, ladies and gentlemen, there was only two winners this evening. In the women's it's race, it was Salma. Are you sure it was Salma? It was so close, I could barely see. And in the men's race, we had Edmund Duplessis pulling away from the field. Only men to run 116 in this race. The rest of them running 117 and above. Definitely exciting times. I'll go down now and find out if it was Salma. But from above here, it looked like Salma. So congratulations to Salma and Edmund Duplessis. Amazing, amazing, amazing race. You know, in the nine years that I got to run this race back to back, it was always a thrilling race. And you always see some of the most amazing emerging athletes come up and do their best in this event and that's exactly what Edmund Duplessis has done here he's just totally stunned the field and it was an exciting race all the way to the line did not know exactly who was going to take it Randy Dikhale came out a bit too early and he was unable to hold on to that lead but back to the track now we've got the 200 meter races that are underway you can see the field is packed there's a lot of athletes getting ready to get this race underway Let's see how the 200 meters will go, starting with the under 14 girls. Fast start immediately outside of the blocks. You can see the young athlete from World School, Mendel Park, immediately moving to the front. But she's got a company from EC, Yansa. And at the moment, we've got the athlete also from Furin to currently pressing on in front. Help Makar in the inside looking very good. World School, Water Club also pressing in the inside lane. But on the outside, the athlete from World School, Mendel Park, is trying to hold on to that lead. She's got company from Furin to in the inside there, EC, Yansa. It looks like it's going to be World School, Mendel Park, as well as Furin to taking a second place. And the 200 meter boys are underway as you can see coming out of the bend it's going to be a very fast one in the lead at the moment is the young man running in the colors of cash but don't forget about the inside lane we've got the athletes they're flying at the moment we're going to get that picture from the next camera 
as you can see there uh, it is uh, World School Club from Pain currently in the lead but it looks like Hamakar is going to be taking this one he's going to be the man from Kes on the outside but it is a victory for Help Makar College uh, grabbing that victory in the 200 meter of boys uh, race And it looks like there's more rain over here at the meeting at Help Makar College at UJ Stadium. We just wrapped up the Newton Classic Shootout powered by Pritt. What an amazing event we had here. The 600 meters closing off the action. What exciting races it was in those ones. Edmund Duplessis stunning the whole field with a victory as well as uh, Edmund Duplessis stunning the whole field as well as the young Salma. Uh, Beji also stunning the whole field for the victory there. So it's uh, very exciting and you can see the action back there on the track. It's going to be the Hoer School, Harsfontein taking this one. Harsh is in first place. Second place we've got Hoer School, Vatercliff. The rain is coming down again. It looks like they're going to wrap it up. The cameramen are running and people are just trying to get back to safety again. So let's see if the competition will continue. Or if we will be having to wrap it up.
now, because of the weather, we are already like 15 minutes behind. So, what have we had?
cl classic shootouts. And I hope to be back next year. And yeah. I mean, for the first one, you know, dipping for the victory over there and taking the title in the 600 meters. It is the 10th anniversary, so it's a very, very special moment. Well done. Thank you. And Wenda, now you are no stranger to this event and you are no stranger to the Newton Classic shootout. I mean, you left that little bit of sprint for the end over there. Did you think you had the race? Yes, definitely. Um, I mean, yeah, the youngster caught me by surprise here, yeah. <laughs> but it was really a fun race. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. My probably my last um, one as a professional athlete. So yeah, all the best for for the youngster, for someone coming through, and yeah, just enjoy your journey and yeah, have fun. <laughs> Thanks for being with us, Wenda. We know it's the curtain call here for Wenda now. And you know, she has been no stranger again to the Newton Classic shootout. And it was so special to have you here for the 10th anniversary. Also, a very spectacular atmosphere, um, you know, with this event hosted by uh, Help Macquarie College. Did you enjoy the, the audience? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I really enjoy competing in front of um, the school crowds, especially tonight. Help Macquarie really brought the spirit and the atmosphere, so it was a lot of fun. It's amazing, Salma. You come all the way from Durban, running for the fast track, a fast feet club. Did you enjoy the atmosphere here in Johannesburg? Yes, it's spectacular. I've never been um, watched by so many people. It was amazing. There we go. There you have it. The 600 meter Newton Classic shootout. Salma just dipping going down now there at the end. Well done, ladies.
We're out here at the Newton Classic Shootout, powered by Pritt and hosted by Help McCarr Courage. I have Joe Simenia on the side of second in the 600 meters in a time of 1 minute, 17 seconds and 13 split seconds. Joel, are you happy with your race? I'm happy with my race because it was the first, so I had to just wait and do the, the things. And that's what it did. Joseph Menia did the things. And on my right over here, we have Cabello, who came third in the time of 1 minute, 17 seconds, and 21 split seconds. Cabello, how's the race for you? Ah, it's very lucky for the Greens. Ah, the race was not so bad today. This is my first race of the season. So, 117 is not, it's not so bad. Because, like, I won in 2019, I won with 116. So, it's promising. It is promising indeed. And now Newton Classic Shootout is powered and sponsored by Print. So we have amazing news for you guys. There we go. Our gifts for the young guys. Sponsored and powered by Print. Thank you so much, guys, for being at the Newton Classic Shootout. And all the best with your season. Thanks, sir. Thank you.
called the Boy Podcast. <laughs> is it a podcast or not?
Entonces ve la olla.
communicate properly.
Die aflose zal niet plaatsvinden. Nie. Als we net die 400 meter slaan maak, en dan is die bij jou komt ze bij als gevolg van die tijd. Onderlinge besluit tussen die schoolen. Bye, dankie. Ik heb allemaal het nou mooi gehoor. Bye, dankie.
Hy gaan nie aflose wees nie As jylle gaan verdaag Alle skole moet verdaag Door die Lapa Daar boe by hek nummer 6 Daar moet die hekkap gedoen word En dan al die kinders Al die skole gaan oorlik verdaag Door hek nummer 6 Dit is aan die rechterkant Van die stadion by die Lapa Skoels, jy was tyk na Doen jy die taad dis evening After this fun of people events, we will all depart, all the people that's going to leave by bus, that's going to depart by bus. You must exit the stadium through gate number six, exit the gate through gate number six. There must be a head count from there. You will depart with your buses to your different schools after the 400 meters no relays will take place. Thanks. Can I stay for the exeter? Help me car, no, thank you. Stay to the other. Gito, can I sit stay to pray? Bye, bye, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Exeter. Because we will all depart. The parents, you are welcome to use other 
uh, array of uh, other guides, but the children, there is the, the learners, the athletes, you must use guide number eight. And that is the guide the law bar. Thanks.
Kruij voor die afzetter. Dankie. Stoute voor die afzetter. Dankie. Dankie julle. Stoute. Dankie meneer die afzetter. Let's go. Maak gereed vir die volgende 400 meter. Rai die toeskouwers, kom ons geef vir die afzetter die kans. Baie dankie, help my kom. Jylle het baie, baie mooi gesing vanavond. Jylle discipline as die afzetter, kom ons daar nie doodstuk. Bye bye, don't you? Good to see you after the recurrence, dames and gentlemen. Thank you. Sons en dochters, as jy nog nie jou medalje gaan afhand het vanavond nie, dan moet jy dit nou gaan doen. Dit het al vir tafel is. Jylle moet jylle medalje's gaan afhand. Jy het nog kans, die inkomst is amper voorbij, maar ons verhaal het jylle jylle medalje's gaan afhand. Die medalje tafel is jy help mekaar te zee bou op die middel van die veld. Recht voor die paviljoen. Prachtig, kom hier die atleet van die help mekaar in. Hy het so 20 meter oor Egi Jansen met mooie hart op. Atleet van Waterkloof en Voorento wat nou daar is. Het vraag vir hierdie kinders by die wendpaal wat nie hier nou moet wees, hy kan julle net terugstaan, want as hy die kinders kan kans gee om weg te spring in hierdie verblijwende 400 meters.
Right, kan ons stilte kry vir die afkonde, uh, vir die afsitter, dankie. Kleitje het geblaas, doodstel, dames en heren, baie dankie. Het van Waterkloor wat drie weet weer ben, men lauw in die tweede plek. Centurion na in die derde plek, voor en toe in die vierde plek. Nog so paar 400 meter weet lopen oor. Goed, kan ons stilte kry vir die afsitter. Baie dankie. Maak gereed vir die volgende 400. Dankie. Doods auto vir die afsitter, dankie. Rijdo, kan ons stilte kry vir die afsitter? Baie dankie.
water gear so at the end of the road with the bin. The 400 meter, ons is amper aan die einde van die bijeenkomst, dames en heren. En sien sy dochters, want hou, as jy gaan vertrek, doen dit weer, en jy met die bus rui, dan doen jy dit weer hek nummer 8 aan die rechterkant van die stadion, as jy van die paviljoense kant af kijk aan die rechterkant, by die lapa, jy moet daar verdaag, die rest van die put, jy is welkom om die ander uitgange te gebruik. Goed, stuiter vir die afsitter. En as stuiter kry, dames en heren, sien sy dochters, baie dankie. Vir die afsitter kans. Wat leed van Keza, die die 400 meter loop die wen, baie geluk. Ons vraag vir die atlete, kan jylle net vir ons uit die baan uitblij hierso. Baie dankie. Right, en stilte vir die afsitter, dankie. Mens op die paviljoen, kom ons hier afsitter een kans. Ons wat oud baie dankie sê, wat is dit er in die bijeenkomst? wat aangeleid is, die gouden liga 2022, soos alle ander jare, een reese sukses, en help mekaar, jy het weer gewaard, en is een topskool, baard geluk, kom ons kyk nou die atlete, soos wat hulle inkom, hoop jy kan nou weer, gars van tuin, en help mekaar, wat het uitveg hier vir die eerste plek, prachtig, kom die atlete van, gars van tuin weer, is nou, maar ben hier die 400 meter, Help mekaar in die toekomst. So, dames en heren, ons sê vir help mekaar, baie, baie geluk. Baie dankie dat jylle ons genooi het, al die skole, namens al die skole. Ek ben woordig vanaan, wil ek vir jylle baie dankie sê. Het is lekker om my help mekaar deel te neem. Dit is een pijkbaan hierdie van die universiteit van Johannesburg, wat hulle beskikbaar stel. Ek denk dit is een van die beste bane in Suid-Afrika om deel te neem. Jylle kan maar gaan kyk. Dit is een van die beste bane, een van die beste by jou is die ombuit te wees. Baie geluk en help mekaar. Dankie en dan gaan ek vir die beamtes baie dankie sê. Jy het baie hard gewerk. Die onderwijsers, baie baie dankie. En dan dames en heren, stilte vir die afsitter, maar ek wil vir die afsitter baie dankie sê. Frikkie, baie baie dankie. Kom ons geef die afsitter een lekker aan het klap dames en heren. Baie, baie dankie. Frikkie, jy is een eister. Ons was achter, maar dit was nie jy.
Alright, thank you. Can I still take care of the officer? For the following 400, bye bye. Thank you. Yeah, I think Marilyn will be fine. Let's still, thank you. Thank you, Yala. Prachtig hard die breed deel van die help mekaar, ek gaan hier die 400 meter ween. Baie, baie mooi gehaard kloof, waterkloof 2, Ege Janssen in die derde plek.
Bother clear by Durian Fat. First one time, you're a plaque. King Edward School, third place. Well done, boys.
boys 419 in wet weer Dankie meneer die afsitter Fluikie Blaas ons is gereed vir die laaste loopie van die Gouwe Liga 2022 wat een skitterende bijeenkomst Dankie vir allemaal sy deelname en Laaste wetloop vir die aand. Laaste loopie sê ons 19 tweede wetloop. Kom ons kyk wat hier gaan gebeur. Dis die senior manne. 400 meter. Hulle sê sê daar by die 200 meter kom. Voel het of iemand op jou rug spring en dan moet jy om wendpaal te dra. Kom ons kyk wat hier gaan gebeur. Men op wat baie mooi hart loop. Gars van Tijn is daar. EG Janssen. Kan ek sien daar op die draai, daar is 120 meter oor. Hulle hart op op die tijd van 33, 34 seconde is op die stadion. Het so 90 meter oor, maar hierdie atleet van Menno Park wat die veld gaan los. Hy gaan, hy behoort die te wen, hy het so 40 meter oor na die wendpaal. 47, 48 seconde is, hy is nou daar, 51.56. Vinniger tyd is loop die een, ook een briljante tyd. Baie goeie tyd vir hierdie 400 meter. Baie gehaard op seet. Dames en heren, terwyl die klank nog hou, hierdie batterijkie wat vir my een rooi liggie wees, ons het het net gemaakt. Onthou, as jy gaan uitgaan, sê ons en dochters, jy gaan weer hek 8. Ons vraag